Arteta or Pochettino? Arteta is doing the same thing Pochettino did at Tottenham until further notice. It's embarrassing. It's a disgrace. That's what it is, a disgrace. Ah! Embarrassing. I'm sorry. Gap post coming off. Who's coming on? Who's this brother with the afro? Bro, who are these people? I. If we lose from here, if we lose from here. Oh my days, if we lose from here, we will never hit the end of it. If you lose from here, you're in the shitter. Who's this brother with the afro? You guys have been humbled massively. Give it a rest, it's embarrassing. Just accept the L just calmly and with composure. Everybody can can, can be humbled at any moment. Timmy Cass looked like he looking into looking into my soul. Yeah. Butt cracks, wide open for this game. What? No papering over, no cracks today. Football is a humbler. Talk to me, brother. It's long. No, tell me why it's long. Tell me why it's long. Chelsea are the first side in English football history to lose six consecutive domestic cup finals. Yes. Yeah. 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 Everybody can 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 be humbled at any moment. <laughs> why was <laughs> why was this guy spitting through the phone, bro? Moment. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. More than you can believe. More than you can believe. <laughs> oh. Dear. Oh, dear. Oh, I love you gotta love this sport though, isn't it? You have to. It can actually send you from ecstasy to just humiliation in in, in what six months, seven months. It's incredible, man. It's What's incredible. the brother doing over there, man? He's giving me he's sh I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Oh, there, yeah, bro? I didn't even clock, you know. <laughs> like you clock, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so is, that, is, Aid, is that two Celebrand's brother? Bro, <laughs> he's mad. Look at whoever done that is is mad. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that, that two <laughs> brother. Look at that. <laughs> Yo, just with the brother, man. Just with the act right now. You know the ones there. Yeah, man, act, man. Just the reality of the situation, man. Just the reality. <sighs> Why are you balaclava there? You won, man. You won. What's wrong with you? But he doesn't understand. What's wait, wait, wait. What's wrong okay. with me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Be careful what you say today. <laughs> aye, what's aye, wrong people. with me, you know? He starts off the show with what's wrong with me. Anyway. Anyway. Anyway, yeah. I'm Introduce a tease. the show, brother, that, man. Introduce the show. Man. that juice, but we've got... We've got a game. To, yeah, we've got a talk. We've got a game to talk about. Um, well, a few games to talk about, but a big one cup final, um, Carabao Cup. Well, big to some, but... It, it, it was a chance for Pochettino to get uh, some silverware under his belt in his in his first season. Um, and yeah, Klopp's getting it in his last. Well, he's got it in his last. Matisse, you said a lot in your in, in your watch along. <laughs> I, I don't even know where to start, bro. Like, I don't, you know, we were just talking before the stream started saying, bro, what, what more can you say about Chelsea? What more can you say? Like, it, it, it is crazy. I mean... Mm. But actually, you did say, um, you know, what Arteta's done, Pochettino's done, but, you know, that, that's this, not was quite the, this was the Carabao Cup, not the FA Cup. That's not quite accurate. It's a, it's a final. It's a final. <laughs> Wrong <You> know, cup. <laughs> it's a final. It's a trophy. <laughs> you know, that's the, that's the, you know, that's where we start. That's where we start. But talk to me, Matisse, man. I mean, the lineup came out for Liverpool. Everyone mm. looked at Chelsea as favourites for the game. The substitution yeah. happened towards the end of the night. Everyone said, Chelsea's got to do it. You must. My my first mistake was ringing Saeed Television over there and not <laughs> shutting down his watch-along. You know, I should have negotiated with him, paid him to shut down his watch-along because we all know what happens when Saeed watches Liverpool. And he's ringing me, telling me, telling me the lineup's looking the good, the, telling me, telling me we're going to win, no problem. The must bust. <laughs> <laughs> brother, did I shut down that watch along? Because the comments were telling me, yo, this brother is a curse. This brother is going to gonna get you killed. And then we get to the game and I don't know what happened to me in extra time. I don't know. I just saw red. Like, pardon the pun, but I just saw red. I was so angry. I've never been that angry watching a game of football. I felt like Toby. 
like genuinely not not on a Tottenham thing but just on a you know Royd's angry Ur, you know what I mean like I just felt Don't pissed all natural all natural, <laughs> all natural <laughs> yeah. I had the I had the Toby angle I was just hitting shit like I was just going off like I, I stood there and watched them lift that trophy on purpose because I thought I deserve it you know I have to I have to hold that I have to hold that my team my club top to bottom we have to hold that we have to watch Liverpool lift that trophy it's so ironic that Van Dijk, a leader of men, I've been calling him the leader of, of boys because of who he left the pitch with. But so ironic that a leader, a, a, a captain, a money well spent, 75 million, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Would go and knock in the header to, to settle the match. He basically won the match for his side. I've never seen a centre-back win a game um, for their team before in a final. Maybe my memory's, memory's gone, but it's quite incredible. And it's quite ironic that they take academy photos. I know some of them have come from Fulham at 16 and whatever, but it is what it is. Um, with the trophy, one thing that we had a couple of years ago with our academy, which we've obviously sold off now. Um, just embarrassing, man. Just proper embarrassing. I've never been so ashamed. I mean, to, to lose in extra time and to be dominated, basically, and be pushed back, penned back into the penalty box and conceding corners and pressure to McDonald and Clark and and the man that can. it's not even his name but I hear you I, I know what you mean and the man that can and I, and I thought where have these brothers come from because I don't recognize any of these faces these are these must be AI generated or something I don't know none of these brothers and I went to go and look at and I saw they they played Stoke City under 21s in the Premier League 2 a couple of weeks ago I said wow that's 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 a humbler crumbler so there's no excuses. There's no there's no narratives that I'm interested in and addressing. People are getting angry with Gary Neville. He spoke football Twitter. That's that's all it was. It maybe wasn't professional for some, but uh, oh, it was quality though what he said though. It's quality what he said. I see people are trying to distribute their anger elsewhere when it really should be directed towards the the, the directors, when it should really be directed towards the manager. And and, and the players bottled it. They, heavy touches, slips, not taking initiative to go and win a game of football when you're playing up against people that are making their, I don't know, debuts, it felt like. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's, it's incredible. We, they, they say our average age of the squad was lower at the start and lower at the end. Don't piss me off, man. Come on. Let's, let's, not, be, let's not be delusional. Let's not be, let's not be naive. We all know what that is, what, what, what those two lineups at the end of the game, what, which one we'd rather have because when the combined 11s are getting done mandem are telling me i didn't get enough players in so let's not now start saying oh we had a younger team come on bro there's experience on the pitch that we've complained about multiple times with madaweke and mudrick not having enough game time not enough experience at the top level what do you think mcdonald's and clark and dan the man that can have what what, what experience do you think they have so for me I, i'm just I'm just drained. I'm just tired. I'm exhausted. I'm just, I'm just taking it. Do you know what I mean? You just have to take it. I've turned up to all the shows I've had to turn up to, obligated <laughs> to you legally, binding. And um, I ain't got no excuse, no complaints, no nothing. Liverpool deserve to win. Um, we had chances. We didn't take them. It's kind of if, buts and maybes as per usual. Not really asked. You know, if you don't take your chances, that is a form of bottling. That is a form of not handling the pressure, not having the composure, the calmness. Palm had a chance. Enzo Backhill, Gallagher. There's no, there's no one individual that needs blaming. It's a collective. I thought the manager made subs. People weren't happy with, you know, maybe Chalaba coming on for Chilwell. Chilwell was not a captain that day. He's booked. He's fighting with kids. I don't know what's wrong with that, brother. You know, guidance. We we must we must look into that one still because to have the armband on. In a game like that and 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 move like that is crazy. So yeah, from top to bottom, man, it's embarrassing. It's a shambles, but it's reality. So what can we do? I'll get into more of it if you wish, but I just I'll let me take a break. I think with <laughs> Chelsea this season, like it's we we've we, we've become accustomed to them like losing in situations where they should win or underperforming. But this this kind of tops tops it all, tops the tree, whatever the phrase is, of, of the worst, the worst because of Let's the... ask Saeed for one. What's the, what's the phrase for that? Curtains on the wall. Curtains on the wall. That's it. Curtains on the wall. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, the curtains. Curtains <laughs> on the wall. It. Like, 
like all the, all the ex- all the excuses about like oh we're young we're inexperienced Klopp was like I'm gonna outdo that <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna give you more youth and, and inexperience and go out and beat you like you know when you start a career mode in FIFA and you start hiring scouts because you think you're, you're you're fucking unreal at signing players and that and he brings you back a lot of random AI generated names that's that's who beat you you got beaten by the scouting report uh, in, a, in a cup final that's it's a really bad look man it's a really bad look I couldn't believe it I, I really couldn't believe it but Big up to the kids, man. You know what I mean? It's a shame they won't get to enjoy the show because they got school tomorrow. Um, was them, so was them sure. kids are them going back to school r- r- real? Nah. No, mm. no, no, no. Six no, form no, and that. No. Six form. <laughs> but I get why you think it was real. Bro, I'm well, sorry. I, I looked at for no way. I just said, nah, I'll ask the man them later. <laughs> Genuinely, I would not be shocked if we saw like an English version of Calcio Poli in this cup final with Chelsea. Because the misses yesterday... Was a matting. Don't get me wrong. Liverpool, props to Liverpool. Van Dijk, leader, legend. Every single superlative under the sun. He had a fantastic game, by the way. Flawless, flawless, flawless game. But it felt like Liverpool's like battered and decimated squad showed in the second half towards the final stages because players were getting leggy. Klopp had to make some changes. McAllister went off. Gakpo went off. Um... Konate went off in extra time. Like, he had to make changes to an already depleted squad and bring on these young Gs. And you could see that Chelsea were growing in confidence. And there was like a 20-minute flurry where it felt like Chelsea were creating the chance like every two or three minutes, like a glaring opportunity to score. And it just wouldn't go in. Like, props to Kelleher, because I thought he was fantastic. But some of the misses, criminal, criminal misses, bro. Like... They've got to be on the take. I think they probably <laughs> did that purposely to get Pochettino sacked. It's either that <laughs> or they've been paid for this because there's no way on earth in a final you can miss as many chances as that against a team like Liverpool. It's always going to punish you. There's no way. In what world does Poch think that we're going to miss all these chances, play for the penalty, and a team as dogged as Liverpool are just going to let you just go to penalties? It's mental. N- nerves were go- nerves were going through that whole team, bro. It was just individual errors after individual errors in the first half. I think especially mm-hmm. Gusto couldn't control the ball. Must have went out for a throw in about three times. The sassy slips, Colwell, just heavy touches, under hit and overcooked passes. And this is what I'm talking about when I say like the the balance. I'm not saying that we haven't signed talent. I'm not saying that you haven't got a clue about who you're looking at. But it's about having balance in recruitment because. How can a 31-year-old Endo boss the midfield? How can how can you have a leader at the back in Van Dyke win the game against our whole team, basically? Which I don't know what we're doing on the marking. Mudrick and Chilwell and Gallagher marking centre backs. I don't know what's going on there. That's an inquest in itself. That's a whole, that's a whole chapter. That's a book. Um, if you don't have balance and you don't have leaders to guide these young players that are in their first season in England, that are under pressure, that have been in their first cup final, naturally are going to be wobbly. You don't have leaders to stand alongside them. And I mean, people in their prime, I'm not talking about Thiago Silva, who's 39, should be chilling with his wife and kids. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about people in their prime. If you if you don't have people around them to guide them and 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 say, we've been here before, act like you've been here. Like, they, they they've been here before. I've said it in my review. It's like, these guys walked into Wembley and the lights were too bright. They couldn't, they couldn't, they couldn't fake it till they make it. They couldn't act like they've been there before. They they wanted autographs, they wanted pictures, they wanted photos, they wanted they wanted to, to, to chat the ear off of, of the celebs. They could not act calm, could not be composed, not could not be cool. And it showed. So the whole the whole performance was just nerves. And obviously, we're gonna have chances because Liverpool give you some chances. Liverpool play an aggressive intense style we know this they press they get up the pitch they leave a high line of course we're going to create chances we don't i'm sorry we don't get credit for creating chances anymore against liverpool at Mm -hmm. at wembley especially that liverpool that team that was injury stricken yes we had some injuries but they had first 11 like hits we had a couple first 11 hits they had a whole heap of first 11 hits and we knew as the game goes on we should be getting stronger because they're gonna have to make subs and they did and, and and I'd say up to the 85th minute, I could sympathise. I'd say, all right, cool. You've played against probably Liverpool's best defensive back four. Because Trent, I think Bradley at this point defensively looks better than Trent just off this off this small period I've seen him. 
right? You're playing against good players. Gapo weren't free. Diaz is a good player. Like, these are good players. Cool. No problem. But once the subs start coming in, 85, 85 minutes on, there's no excuses. You've got to put that team away. You have to. So, and, and, and on top of that final thing, this is a team that played midweek. They played midweek. I know it was Luton, but if you watch that game, Luton, you know, they put up a fight. It wasn't like some rollover. They they, they tried. So, like, how can you have a week off and then come tell everybody you're tired? You don't have the legs. You don't have the energy in extra time. You're playing for penalties or whatever the the the, the mindset or not even mindset, but whatever the analysis is, you know. Man, man said, right, these guys look tired. We look like we're playing for penalties. Why are we tired? We play one game a week. Liverpool in all comps. They're in Europe. And they played mm. midweek. It's just word, 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 yeah, word, it's word, just word, mad, word. man. Wild. It's wild. Word, 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 word. I wanted to because I, I don't know whether it's worth going in even more on Chelsea now because I feel like we probably should hear from Grizz, but I also want to go in on Chelsea. So Grizz, no, I think we can go. We can come. We can come back to that. We can park it off a little bit and then you know spin the. Oh, ball. okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, because okay. I just can't. Go on, Grizz. Go on. No, Sorry. no, you go. No, I was just going to say, like, obviously a lot of Chelsea fans have been at me this morning saying, oh, where do you get off talking? You support Spurs. You this, you're that, you're this, you're that. Mm. I saw Eunice tweeting about, oh, we're Spursy now or some shit like that. And I had to scratch my head a second. I said, wait, wait, hang on a minute. Checks notes. When the hell did Spurs lose six consecutive cup finals? Is that Tottenham or is that Chelsea? <laughs> That's mm. Chelsea. Six consecutive domestic cup finals. This is Chelsea, the pride of London. Historic. The pride of London. Keep the blue mm. flag fly, flying high. What, what, whatever nonsense chart that they come up with. Chelsea. Right? <laughs> Obviously, Chelsea. Winning is the aim, Tobes. Winning is the aim. This is the pride. Yeah, this is the pride of London. Astrid Wear, Astrid Wear FC, Matisse FC, Myra Quadri FC. Bro. Listen, she is she is 16% Nigerian. You watch us. No, 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 no. She's 100% Chelsea. Yes, yeah? she's your property. Yeah. <laughs> So I had to wait, and I was like, "Yo, this is mental!" Like, never in my never in my heyday. I'm talking as a teenager. Could I see a Chelsea team lose six consecutive cup finals? Never in my heyday. Not not under the Roman era. No sir. No way. Mm -mm. No 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 no. Maybe two. Never six. Never six. And then when you add into the the fact that they spent. One billion pounds to be worse. They finished. Where did you finish last season? 11th? Finished 12. 11th. 12th, sorry. Crashed out of all the cops this season. Out of the League Cup. Not winning the league. No European competition. Um, and they're 11th in the table. 35 Damn. points. Damn. Like, they have spent... And this is mad. They've spent an unprecedented amount of money. No club has spent more in a period of time... In, in this period of time than Chelsea. No club has ever spent this much money in such a short space of time. And they are 10 times worse. And what makes it even sweeter for me is Matisse hired our, our former manager who he knows I've got an affinity with. He knows I like Pochettino. And he was he was really like gassing it in the summer. We got your manager. We got your manager. Don't let us win no trophies, your manager. Well, I think I'm fairly certain he's not going to win jack shit at Chelsea. Fairly he certain. Come on. I'm say fairly it. certain he's going to win Jack Don't say shit. certain, man. See, no, no, say, say you're certain. certain. It's because you should. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You want me to be yeah, certain? I'm 100% certain. Pochettino nah, is not okay. winning damn okay. at Chelsea. He <laughs> fucking stinks at Chelsea. He ain't, man. He Big ain't. Chelsea he ain't. Stinks. Come on, man. He stinks. He absolutely stinks, bro. He's done a terrible, terrible job. I'm surprised he's still in the job. He's not winning shit. The way you guys play, the way he sets you up, I'm so confident he's not winning you fuck all this season. And I love Back. that for you. I love that for you. You couldn't, you, you couldn't have dreamt of a of a better story, like Chelsea swanning off into the sunset, getting Spurs as manager, spending all this money. Project Youth, Clear Lake, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amortization FC. I look at you. You're fucking shit. Do you know how 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 glad I am to say that you are fucking shit, bro? Like you're so shit. Was we wrong you're about? So was Tobes, was we wrong about Poch? Because obviously it's well documented yeah. that a few years ago I rated him as well. Was we wrong? Like, in what sense though? Like wrong is in like, is he like good or is he the guy to win trophies or what? What do you mean? I, he's, I mean, like, obviously we're talking about Chelsea. We're talking about a team that's won how much trophies over the last 10, 15, 20 years. But for, for this level, was we wrong? It's, bruh, 
I don't know, man. I, I feel like we definitely wrong. I was definitely wrong about the job he would do at Chelsea RB Raw because I thought he would do a lot better. And I think he's taking several steps backwards. I don't look at Chelsea and I see a Pochettino side. I don't see a side of the same, like the same way of playing as he set us up or he set Southampton up. I didn't see that at PSG, but at PSG, you could have the caveat. Oh no, it's Neymar, Messi and Mbappe. They're not going to press, etc., etc. Egos, egos. At Chelsea, what egos has he got? He's got kids. He's got kids. Okay, cool. Like he's got an un, unusual amount of kids that he has to work with and a lack of seniority, but he's got enough to at least have some sort of imprint on this team. And there's no imprint. There's literally no imprint. So for me, it's really disappointing for Poch. Like, it's he's done an alarmingly bad job at Chelsea. Like, it cannot be overstated how bad he's been at Chelsea. Like, he's been horrendous. Like, absolutely horrendous. I always thought he was just a hipster's choice, to be honest. I, I never rated Poch that highly. He was just another one of those managers that had a decent little spell with Tottenham and played good football. But for Chelsea, who were going to that project that they, they've, they've clearly decided to focus on, I felt they needed to bring in a big dog manager who knows about winning, who knows what he's doing. Pochettino's a little bitch, man. He, he, he's not going to win football. He's been a serial loser his whole career. He was, I, I did think he'd do better than he's doing now, but I, I never expect him to be bothering me. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's magic, It's magic, I was going to be looking down he's on Poch going, oh, how's he getting on down there? They're doing all right. This, yeah. this hurts to hear, honestly. like This is so bittersweet because this is a guy who I still think at the heart of it, he's still a good manager, in my opinion. But I think he's just been awful. He's been awful. I mean, playing for penalties. Like, what the hell is that about? You've Bro. literally got your foot on their necks. They've got five, six teenagers out. Go and win the game of football. What are you playing for penalties for? Nah, he deserved the... Like, his Tottenham reign deserved the... Like, when he was set, I was like, well, what are you man doing now? I definitely yeah. would have taken him at the time, mm. 100%. 100%. He deserved the... He deserve, at the time, I wouldn't say Arsenal was a step up, but he deserved a step up in a sense where a team competing for trophies and, when, and that's what he went on to do. But Agreed. He, he hasn't lived up to, to the expectation of that step up, not just Chelsea, but over the last few years, well, since Tottenham. Well, you, need, yeah, you know he's, what it is, he's, though? You need that belief, man. Stopped, you need that yeah, belief. He's... Go yeah. on, Saeed, sorry. No, I say you need that belief, man. Klopp had the belief, you know what I mean, with the players, with the man management. He just, he looked timid, man. The guy looked scared of the touchline. Yeah, the players let him down, but I just look at him and I'm like, he don't inspire you, though, man. He's looking puzzled. He's looking anxious. Klopp's living the moment. He's enjoying the moment. And I feel like with a manager like that, I feel like you need to, you know, the players need to feel that confidence and I feel like they mm. he doesn't have that, man. The fact that he came out with them comments, he should be sacked on the spot for them comments. I don't want to be yeah. hearing that after half, after full time. I don't want to be hearing that, that you wait until penalties when you had 30 minutes where you're basically playing with kids. And kids. I don't yeah. want to be hearing yeah. that. Bro, it's it's, it's, seize the moment, bro. He's, seize he's, the it's moment. A it's a shame. It's a shame because it's like, and now the one thing I don't like is I don't like people revising history on the work he's done in the past because he's doing such a bad job. And I think that's what's happening now. Because he's been so bad at Chelsea, people are now looking at it like, oh, he must have not been that good at Spurs. He must have not done that well at Southampton. He was carried by X. He was carried by Y. It's not the case at all. Two different jobs. He did. He overachieved at Tottenham, in my opinion. I thought he was brilliant at Spurs. And he's massively underachieved at Chelsea. Like, both things can be true. But what we know for certain is right now, he fucking stinks. And so does Chelsea. He's, Pochettino is, in some ways, he's the perfect manager for Chelsea right now because he stinks and they stink. Shit owners, Stable. underperforming manager, inconsistent players, inexperienced players, weird results, no consistency, no threat for actually winning silverware. That's crazy from Chelsea. Like They got to a final and I didn't believe one bit that they were going to win against Liverpool with all these players injured. I didn't believe it. Mm. You know what? Yeah, before Gris comes in, listen, Matisse, don't let don't let my watch alongs distract that when you <laughs> must you didn't must. Don't let my watch alongs distract you. Okay. When you well, must, you, you didn't you must. Keep, you, you this was the biggest them. no no you hold on. Hold on them. And then was when, biggest... when Klopp when Klopp equals no, no, is, is it gonna equal titles now? Is, it? is that what's gonna happen? Yeah, don't do this. 
Don't no, do I'm this. asking. I'm asking this the question. This was your moment. Are you gonna this, Are you gonna like keep doing me, Liverpool watch? No, no, hold on a minute. Like, like I should have. We should have won the FA Cup final. and stopped Man City. We had the moment to change the narrative. You had the moment to change the narrative. Pochettino did. You lot bottle jobs, man. Don't blame my watch alongs. Don't blame me and come here for. <laughs> I'm like, glad you used that word bottle jobs. We're gonna come back. We're gonna spin the block on you. Yeah. Cool. 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 No, no, well, listen, I'll take the smoke. Listen, but, no, I'm, gonna, no, I'm just glad you used that word because we're going to spin the block You lot, yeah? your players didn't step up, your manager didn't step I know. up. You lot let everyone down, mate. Yep. You, let, you and, let everyone down, man. And once, and once and again, and, 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 and they go back in the coach, back to the north of England to terrorise you once again. So it's your problem what once again. That, what does that, how does so that make once, you so feel? So though? once again, so once again, what, what, so once again, does that help you? That, so Stick once again, your that's club. your This is the problem, problem with Chelsea. You're not focusing on what you've got in hand. Focus on the problems in hand. Oh, we're Forget focused. everyone else. We're focused. You're not focused. Oh, we are. It comes to mess. Yeah, but we're, we, we're, we're aware. We're more than aware. <laughs> but what I'm telling you is that if they do the quad, it's going to hurt you more than me. And you know that. So don't get angry. You have the no, FA no, Cup. Are, are you still in the FA Cup? Are you still in the FA Cup? We are still in the FA Cup. We are still in the FA Cup. So do something, brother. So do something. If you don't like the situation, do something about it. Don't get angry with me. This is crazy. The I accountability. Did I, did I play? Lack of accountability. <laughs> did I play? For me, already, when you look, look said, at the players, I've already, I've the players, by the way, it. as well. I've, I've not enough said... mention about these players, guys. Why yeah, would they talk on players it. go talk as well? Talk on the players. Talk on the players. No, no, be serious. The players are getting away with it. I'm Facts. sorry. You bought all these Facts. players for big transfers, but we've got to wait till next season. Come on, mate. Some players, we have to conversate about them. We have to solve about me, them. Me and you, me and you could have the same conversation, brother. Me and you, you if you if you speak on my club, you may as well be speaking on yours because it's going to be you're going to be about, saying the same when thing. When we get to the time, when we get to the time, we will do. But I'm sorry, you know, listen. There's a lot of players that we get bashed at, and I feel like a lot of players. We we talked about Anthony. We talked about so many players, but I feel like with these Chelsea players, we're not talking about them as much as we can. It's because they tell you you don't watch us. You don't watch us. Oh, the setup is th is this. Oh no, you, you know the game. Watch this, this, that, and the third. One player I have to say, and I'm a big advocate of him, and I, I still am. But he has been his form in the last couple of months has been nothing short of a disaster. Apart from the odd game here, there, Raheem Sterling, man. Honestly, honestly, bro, you're up against. A, well, how old is Conor Bradley Grizz? 18, 19 years old. I think he's. I think he's, 20. he's He's twenty. I think he's 20. I didn't... Bro, I don't Sterling, do had, oh, that's all right, man. Sterling had no ages. contribution to this game. And what's annoying me is he's so, like, wildly inconsistent for Chelsea. He's either really, really good or he's just downright atrocious. Like, ghost. I, I, I said it. all this stuff. I said all this about oh, Sterling really? ages ago, and it was just, oh, you're just hating because he left your club. Against Liverpool you're, as well. You're, you're, you're disrespecting Raheem yeah. Sterling. Raheem Sterling has always been a wildly inconsistent player. He had two unbelievable seasons, and I'll, I'll, I'll never take that away from him. But outside of that, wildly inconsistent. And the reason he flourished at Manchester City as much as and as long as he did is because he was surrounded by beasts who were giving him chance after chance after chance. Four or five chances, he'll bag one. His name in the score sheet. Well done, Raheem Sterling. Throw him into a below-average Chelsea team. Rose been found out. Man's in the prime of his life. He should be cooking. And you're talking about lack of experience and freezing under the lights. Raheem Sterling ain't lacking experience. He should he should be one of those players in the team yesterday that's rallying the troops and saying, look at these lights, enjoy them. We're meant to be here. Enzo Fernandez, World Cup winning player. He should he be poor. rallying the troops. So poor, yesterday. poor man. That Caicedo, I'm sick of him as well. I'm sick of him. He should have been sent off. How this guy gets away with yellow yellow cards and red cards, <laughs> I'll actually never know. He's just a hatchet man. He's a hatchet man who, who's Giving brown paper bags to the FA or something because sorry, sorry, good. didn't didn't you, you have a player? Didn't you didn't you don't you, don't, don't didn't don't didn't you have a player it. called Fernandinho who used to get away with all of this nonsense? Did, did, did the key word there is didn't? Okay, so don't. you did right. Now so now, so so you're sick of it now. But when it was on your team, you had no problem with it. I didn't hear no words of of of, of ammunition towards Fernandinho. So let's just calm down, right? The dark. Well, the difference is the difference. And it was is, a yellow. Fernandinho was a leader, so he may get booked, but he'll rally the troops. He'll oh, make sure. Sorry, get sorry for Kaiseido. I don't see Kaiseido doing that. I don't see Kaiseido turning up. Sorry, I don't see Kaiseido turning up. At 21 years old, his debut season. Your cup final, a chance to actually put some respect on your name this season after all the trash you've taken. And your big 115 million pound signing is just a nothing but more of a hatchet man, 
out there kicking people and no more. I don't think it's been as bad as Caicedo the other Fernandinho, the other one next don't you dare him. put them in the same conversation. <laughs> no, Casado's definitely been worse. Than as as Come on. What this season? It, what, Seriously, this there. season, in, this season in totality, Casado has been worse than Enzo for me. Sorry, he has. Wow! Wow! Nah, man, it's been the opposite. I think man. he has. Casado's I don't think performance. he has. I think his form has picked up Girl. a little bit in re- in recent weeks or months or whatever. But he's still, he's still like, I don't know with Casado sometimes. Like sometimes, like yesterday, he actually made some really good. I think him and Enzo. They did finish the game strongly as Liverpool faded. I think probably from minute 70 onwards, they were really sort of like putting their foot on the ball and like picking up passes and stuff. But my problem with them is they're just too inconsistent, man. They're just too inconsistent. And I know that the midfield setup, I get it with Poch. The spacing is an issue. Sometimes Enzo's playing 10. Sometimes Caicedo's left in the island. But sometimes I see them playing next to each other and they're both Marin, bro. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. You know, you know what, you know what they, yeah. their players don't get it as much as they should. That Saeed's right, everyone's right. But they, they changed the way, like, who, who's done this? Like, when, look at Lukaku, when they signed Lukaku for 100, all eyes were on him. He got the, he got the right level of, of, you know, what is it? Judgment or whatever it is over that season. This time around in the last 18 months, they've hit us with, Chelsea have hit the, 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 the league with so many bums. Like it, it, it's hard to concentrate on which which one is the I don't know which one is the worst of the lot. That's the We're arguing about Enzo and Caicedo. They for the price tag, both are bums. That's what I'm saying. For the price tag, both have been bums. I don't care which bum is bigger. Yeah, both have been bums. That's that's a fact. I don't care how we gloss over it. Nicolas Pepe got more heat than these men at 72 mil. Oh. Fucking Anthony's got more heat than these man. Sancho's got more heat than these man. Pogba's yeah, got more heat than these man. Pogba. Jack, yeah. so Jack Grealish, man. Jack Grealish got more heat. And Jack Grealish is a treble winner. No, Jack yeah. Grealish didn't get more heat. Stop it, bro. Stop it. I've been campaigning for Grealish to get more From heat. From Toby, yeah. To From Toby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but, Turkish, you made a really good point on Lukaku. Because I want to see what Chelsea fans have to say. Because Lukaku, you could make a, a case for Lukaku that... He wasn't getting much service at Chelsea. He was starved off the ball. Yes, he was his first touch was baggy and this is not good. But at times he barely touched the ball. He barely had chances created for him. But where was that the leeway for Lukaku? That it's because brother, look, I get it. That, he did the interview. Listen, did that the interview. brother, that Lukaku brother who was scoring goals. That brother blew up his own Chelsea career all by himself. No one told him to do that, right? So let's not go all the way back now to 2021 or whenever that was and start rewriting Same. history on Lukaku. That brother blew up his own career. He's got the ego the size of a Cristiano Ronaldo, right? And the trophy cabinet the size of a... I don't even know, right? Because he's won like a couple of trophies. I don't even know. My head's hot. The fact that you've even brought his name up is, is a slap of war offence for your bald head. So for me, for me, for me, let's just move on to Liverpool because I feel like... I feel like Liverpool need to get their credit, right? Oh, they they won a cup. We'll tell, we'll tell you what you're done, this, brother, this brother we'll here is wearing... I don't know what he's wearing on his head. Let this man... Matisse, let bro, let Matisse brother we'll tell you what you've done, man. No, no. What Saeed wants to do... What Saeed wants to do is extend this... Bro, we're here for two and a half hours. We're here for two hours anyway. Into some Fast and Furious sequel without getting onto the fact that you were absolutely demolished. By Fulham Where at home, going? demolished. Where right? you want to go? I must have saw about hundred. I must have saw about hundred transitions. Bro. Turkish just said we got time. Don't worry. This brother Chad. This brother Chad's calling sick. This brother Chad calling sick to the show. For Chelsea's this brother Chad calling sick to the show. Yeah, <laughs> so don't I'm, I'm happy. I'm don't happy for go go anywhere. Right? What are you saying? You're feeling it, or something? I don't get it. Like, yeah, you, it's not, it's, I know. It's, it's, Listen, it's, I, Grizz has not spoken. We're how many minutes in? I don't mind cooking Chelsea. I've been cooking Chelsea all, all weekend. But so you like, care about Grizz now, yeah? Bro, you yeah, care about Grizz now? He won a trophy, bro. He won a trophy, bro. Okay. Come on. Nah, no, no, I will. Yeah, yeah. All right. Come on. <laughs> I've, I've been doing my analysis in the first thirty-four minutes or so. Yeah. And, you know, I knew we were going to run out of energy at some point. And me being the community, man, I brought some energy drinks wow. for me and Matisse. Matisse, which flavour do you want first? I've got two <laughs> drinks here. You want mixed berry, mango burst? Which one you want, brother? Talk to me. Which uh, one are you going berry. for? Yeah, mixed berry, brother. Okay, mixed berry for you, mango burst for me. 
Mm. We're going to pour some energy drinks because I knew we we're going to run out of energy. This late night show. You've had a long day. I've seen you in about 18 streams. <laughs> um, up and down the country, <laughs> nationwide, international. Uh, quality, not quantity, brother. <laughs> Let me just pour this uh, Carabao energy drink. Okay. You've, you've Let me take my that, time, man. if you don't mind. Yeah. They ain't the paid endorsement either, by the way. Yeah. So you going? He's about yeah, to, yeah, yeah, to clock that they probably taste like shit as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Carabao, come through, come through, Carabao, <laughs> come through. We need to talk. We need to talk. Oh, shit, look at this. Wait, that filled the whole glass, you know. Perfect. Anyway, cheers and all that. I right, look, as you guys know, I gave you a little bit of insight into the team stuff and how we're gonna how it's gonna be and it so it turned out. So when it was confirmed that the team was the team, I'm not gonna lie. Remember we done the preview and I was like, it's gonna be tight, it's gonna be messy, it's gonna be we're not gonna we're gonna struggle to score goals because I keep saying it, take out your front three of all your teams, what you got left? Um, and then you take out the rest of the team and i don't want to bore people with the people that we had missing so i was going to have a good day out vibes um and i want to get the nastiness out of the way first because i got off the i parked my car up and it's a 10 minute walk 10 50 minute walk and i obviously bumped into some chelsea fans and i just got some stupid stupid abuse wherever i didn't tell no anyone about it until now so i was all jovial and happy and everyone they were like yo some nasty words you know what I mean? As they say. So I, I suddenly went mad. I suddenly went mad. In my head, I was like, okay, fuck this. Straight into this Union Jack waving. Princess and Prince Andrew protecting. Sun reading. National anthem singing. British bulldog tattoo loving. Burberry wearing. Celery throwing. Rishi bumming. Plastic wave. Plastic fab waving. Racist Chelsea fans. Get into them. This Eton going. Oh man, I went mad ballistic in the thing. Maggie loving. I thought I'm not having it from these lot. Took my seat in the in the in the in the ground and I see a sea of red. I see a sea of red, man. And it was only the Carabao Cup. I need to stress. I'm not gonna overhype the actual trophy because we've all been there. Me taking the mick out of Huey celebrating it or Saeed celebrating it or whatever. We've all been there, done it to each other. It's only the Carabao Cup. It's only the League Cup. And it is only that. But this was the most sweet for me. It was so sweet. It epitomised the levels of the two clubs right now. From the very top to the very bottom. And the top being the ownership and the bottom being the fans. When, I'm, when I mean fans, sorry, not the fans, the youth players. You know the young players and we were magnificent in every single way i knew i knew it's going to be a struggle but i was so proud of these liverpool players um and it was magnificent magnificent viewing like i've heard matisse has been spot on to be honest with you fair play to him he talks about sort of the narrative being oh we had young team as well motherfuckers you spent 800 million pound recruiting the best youngsters in Europe to be in your squad. Did you know that? Did you feel that? Did you read that? Do you guys even know what you're talking about? Our youngsters, Matisse didn't even know their names. He's calling them McDougal and shit. <laughs> there was no McDougal on the pitch. <laughs> Brothers, there was Lee Clark's son, Bobby Clark. And there Who's was Lee, Clark? Lee Clark's the ex Newcastle player. Oh, His God. son was playing. God. Bruv, we had, at the end, we had 16 million pound midfield. And that was spent on that Samurai King, Endo, alongside two academy youths, McConnell and Bobby Clark. And they had 250 million pound of midfield against them. Enzo, 100 million. I say though, 100 million. Gallica's worth how much Tobes is saying? How much they want for Gallica? 50 million plus? 50 million or something like that. 250 million pound worth of players. And you guys are talking about, oh, they had, oh, we think they're, because I'm very disappointed in the rest of yours analysis as well. You're not talking about they made chances and they had this. Are you lot mad? I knew Liverpool not going to get their flowers. I was listening to you lot. And so, I'm here to give some flowers to Liverpool players. 
Kelleher, Flowers, Bradley, Flowers, Konate, Flowers, <laughs> Virgil van Dyke, Flowers, Robertson, Flowers, Endo, the biggest flower, McConnell, Flowers, McAllister, Flowers, Dance, Flowers. I don't even know some of the brothers' names myself. Peek out here. <laughs> Elliot. Elliot. Elliot Flowers. Yeah. Diaz. Come on. Diaz. Come Diaz. on. I said, come on. It's your fucking club, mate. Diaz, then. I said Diaz. <laughs> he, he, I mean, he it's clearly, been a long weekend, bro. He wasn't watching, bro. He was too busy on. celebrating, bro. He doesn't, he doesn't know yeah, what happened. On. He can't remember. Diaz, the Simicas. Luis Diaz. Simicas. <laughs> don't give on to Gakpo, though, because he was Cheeks. Don't give on to Gakpo. came on. I can't see the screen, the flowers build Dan, up. Dan, 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 Yeah, 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 Dan, Dan's, yeah. Who's, Dan, son, whose dad played for Blackburn, I think. Oh, Scott Dan. No, Neil Dan's. No, <laughs> Neil Dan's. Dan, yeah. But flowers for my team and flowers for my coach, Jurgen Klopp. Because yeah. you know why, people? You know why, people? You can have all the talent you want, but that showed what we done. He had to formulate a game plan with what he's got and that's what a elite coach does elite coaches make things happen and he made things happen he was up against names like raheem sterling 50 million what's your brother's name jackson action jackson how much whatever 50 million no it wasn't 50 same price as Gakpo, i think maybe even less actually 36 anyway. million anyway, you got in kunku coming off the bench i've talked about your midfield Gusto, 50 million or something? No. Am I exaggerating? Yeah, you're doing too much. Too much. You got your chip. Chelsea, you got your Chelsea skipper and England international fighting kids. He was literally on a bully team. Yeah, and that, was that was wild. Bruv, coaches, elite coaches, when I hear Jurgen Klopp's name mentioned, because someone sent me a clip where you said he's not much better than Pochettino. That's the only thing I'm here to like question you about. Nothing else. The rest you dealt with fine and you were right. But when you said Pochettino and he's not much better than Jurgen Klopp, brother, we saw yesterday, because there's no doubt, it wasn't a tactical master plan by Jurgen Klopp. There was never going to be a tactical plan. Who without, said that? Huh? Matisse said he's not much better than uh, Pochettino, uh, Klopp. And, uh, where's the footage? I need to... I need to you fucking say that? Yeah, he, I need yeah, to see he the said footage. that. Where was the there's footage? footage. Where's, where's the footage? footage? Where's the footage? Yeah. Who's the in copyright holder? Why is man? That's wild. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. That's Let me get the footage. Can we get the footage? Where, where but is when it? you've got a man without all the players, and I'm telling you, we had a whole 10 missing that would probably finish third in the Premier League. Man Second went from Pep Klopp and Tuchel to Pep Klopp and Pochettino. Is that what you're doing? You do it with Arteta, bro. You're doing the same thing. You do it with Arteta. Look at the guys. Guys, look at that. Guys, look won me a Champions League. You bro. have to allow me for that. If Arteta Guys, look at the league, levels. If, if Arteta won you a Champions League, you're going to be on Pluto. You'd be on bro. Pluto. So don't bro. do that. Don't do that. Because <laughs> if Arteta won you a Champions League, your head would be on Jupiter. And, and Chris, is there I any flowers? Is, there's there's no flowers rationale for Chelsea to win you a Champions League. We need some for the funeral. Bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Make sure them flowers Yo. are there. How dare yeah. you, man? How dare you? Yeah. Yeah. Bro, no, no, listen. Listen, listen, bro. Listen, listen. Back to Liverpool, man. Back to Liverpool. Back to Liverpool, because uh, if you're not Liverpool fan, you don't know what happened. You don't know what happened if you don't, because you don't feel it. You don't have that emotion. And I get it. Of course, it's natural. You're just seeing the game on the screen and you're seeing Chelsea chances, Liverpool chances, Keller, wherever. It's a madness what Klopp pulled out of the bag. And he didn't do it with tactical tweaks. There was nothing to tactic there, bro. He had a bunch of kids. But what he'd done was he made them believe and gave, and I think Hugh mentioned it, he gave them the positive belief like you can do this, where Pochettino drained it out of his players, it seemed. Facts. Mm, facts. That 30 the minutes in extra up. time was a hall of shamer for Pochettino and Chelsea Football Club. A hall of shamer. In the 90 minutes, they played well as much as they could against this Liverpool team, which was our reserve team. Three or four first teamers plus a Utes. But that 30 minutes where I turned around to my mates, you guys know me, I'm Mr. Positivity. I get overly aggressive with my Liverpool and you lot think, calm down, Griezmann. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you, you, I get too defensive Liverpool. 
I was saying, I don't see how we win this game apart from penalty shootout or a set piece. Stand up, Captain Virgil van Dijk. <laughs> Guys, you lot sometimes take the mick out of Virgil van Dijk, but you wish you had a player like him amongst your ranks. I believe Said calls him Van Disney. Broski, relax he's yourself, really, man. He's wounded. He's he's really done. Done. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because Saeed, Saeed was there like, Mud Brothers, we're going to do this together. I went, the, I went into the big six group chat. He's like, yo, we're going to get Matisse. I said, what the fuck is this guy that he's doing? I'm going to drag this fool today. He is Bro. down with me. <laughs> Bro, you Bro can't Virgil you van Dijk, down, not you're only once. Comparing, you're comparing Poch to Klopp, man. Relax yourself. Bro, bro, bro he deep. doubted him, by the way. He doubted him. He's an awful fan. You, you bro, doubted him. Anyway, bro, bro, yeah, but bro, I, bro, I, I fumbled bro, myself. That's a howler. Opinions are a humbler. That is my well, worst opinion. So on I'm, record, I'm still humbling myself. On record, you know I mean? I'd, like to, I'd like to formally apologise to Jurgen Norbert Klopp for that comparison. That is one of my biggest howlers. Howlers. My biggest howlers since I've done YouTube. That is absolutely... Shocking. I apologize to Liverpool Football Club and, and, and Jurgen Norbert Klopp for that and all the Liverpool fans in the community. I apologize. Accepted. I retract. I retract Accepted. 100%. I retract. I really accepted. I but this retract. Virgil van Dyke brother, yeah, including me, thought I'm never going to see the best of him, right? He was out for a year and then he took a year to recuperate and his and his performances last season were stinky. Let's not beat around the bush. And I was the first one to call it out because you look got me into saying, yeah, 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 he's finished. I didn't quite say he's finished. I just said, we're never going to see the best of Virgil again. He's come back mad. He's come back. He's lost all his surrounding seniors, or three or four of them. Anderson, Milner, Fabinho, all his brothers gone. He's got a whole bunch of newcomers to the team. And then he's leading out a whole bunch of new players. Given the captaincy, needs to re regain his form because the media are on his case. The fan bases are on his case. And even the Liverpool fans are doubting him. He's come back like a man possessed. And I don't, you guys must have seen the clip going around of him in the training room when he said, Before thought, I'm finished. Yeah. How cold was that? How cold yeah, was that? Because he put in a performance. Not... You have to Eerie, appreciate man. that performance. He was surrounded. When he done that huddle, you know the Arsenal do that huddle. He done that huddle with kids and telling them we can do this because there's extracts uh, of that conversation that you can hear and he instilled belief along with the coach and Pochettino I heard because I was I didn't hear the commentary I heard afterwards that he said we were, our plan was to play for penalties did he so, actually say that so apparently because I, I thought that's exactly what I was fuming as well apparently it was the context was not that they that he was trying to play for penalties, but he felt by looking at the players running out of energy that they were that penalties would have favoured them. Can but I? Can I? That, I heard about that, this. That shouldn't be the case. That I heard about this. Case, we've yeah. we've been playing three games a week for exactly. God knows how exactly. long. We've got yep. players falling like flies left, right, and centre. Mm -hmm. They've been no Europe playing one game a week. You had a whole week to prepare for this. Yeah. At the top of my head, Bad is Chile missing, Reese James missing, Thiago Silva who would have been a a problem if he was playing anyway missing. I can't think of many more. Fafana's not really a first team. Regular has he performed that well? You could say the same for Bede Shile. Well, he you is. Could, He's just been you out. You can argue Desasi is the form man. You bought Lewis Kowal as your as your future. You got your England cap. Is he England cap? No, he's an England regular. Ben Chilwell and Gusto had a bad boy game against Man City. He's up and coming. But Wesley Near Fofana enough, is one of the most expensive centre backs in the world. I'd so say one or two away from your a, first a team. To be mentioning. How can he mention energy and talk about energy and thing when we got youths coming on the pitch? Mm. Wait, some of those guys were doing... They thought they were on work experience at Wembley. They're running on the pitch for work experience. And they're playing up in a league final up against this multi-billion pound team that's been formed with a head coach like Pochettino, who's highly thought of and highly renowned. Flowers to Liverpool. Flowers to Jurgen Klopp. Flowers to the fans. Because I hope you and the nation... And Europe heard us singing when they needed us. Because that's where you call support. Because that's where you call legacies. That's where you call... You know when people say, ah, oh, Liverpool, you guys, what, man? Rear, rear, rear. Brother, Chelsea, we couldn't fucking hear a word from them. Just waving a couple of plastic flags. Fuck out of here. Liv Wembley was red. And Liverpool was supporting their boys. That's where you call support. That's why this tastes sweeter. Sweet, 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 sweet Liverpool victory. And as I said, 
It's the League Cup. I'm not hyping the trophy. I'm hyping the way he done it in his farewell season. Think about how much pressure Klopp must have been under as well. His final season, he may not reach the FA Cup final. He may not reach the Europa League final. He may not win the league. This was his chance to get a trophy. And then suddenly he's decimated with injuries. And he's thinking, why so unlucky? I do find the only the only, win. the only the only thing I criticize about your support is I do find the uh, Kaiseido mum attack online very odd, yeah, that's very fair. odd. That's so fair. so very 100... odd. And and, and and I know and I know what the, I know what the context the context is is that Kaiseido's mum convinced Kaiseido to join Chelsea. Really, the situation is is that Kaiseido had an agreement with Chelsea and they were loyal to the agreement. And Liverpool fans for some reason can't seem to understand that and take that on the chin. That you I came in last condone. minute for a player you didn't have an agreement with, and that he just didn't want to break his loyalty and his and his agreement. But I just I find never, that, that find, I find odd. The rest of it, I agree with you. Apparently I would never condone. Right I would never condone nasty, toxic Liverpool fans that say anything like that. It's about someone's mum. Just like I would never label every Chelsea fans like the ones I experienced walking up to Wembley. Hundred mm, percent. So I would never label every Chelsea Chelsea fan like that. And I would never condone or promote or even big up or any Liverpool fan that chat shit like that about someone's mother or whatever. That's nasty. But in terms of the fan bases, where the clubs are at, from the academy to the coach to the structure, we showed how it's done properly. And I'm mm. sorry if you don't want to hear that, but that's the truth. That's academy products coming through right there. Not just pick top cherry pick the best youngsters from there, 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 and say, Yeah, we're young. But you're young, what? You're 800 million pounds young. You're supposed to perform, you're supposed to be bought for the now. But if I was a Chelsea fan, I'm telling you now that 30 minutes was a hall of shamer. Don't get it twisted. I was overjoyed and celebrating like mad for Liverpool. I'm bigging up Liverpool, but hall of shamer. Big up Liverpool, big up Jurgen Klopp. Cheers, everyone. The support was mad. I can't even lie. In um, I think it was like the last five, ten minutes of normal time and then some of extra time. It genuinely felt like it was Anfield. Like you couldn't hear we were rocking, bro. We were rocking. We were mad. rocking the whole of Wembley. Wembley was shaking, bruv, with pure Liverpool chance. Ole Ole was ringing around the ground because we knew the kids were getting tired. They had played no football. Brother, Kwanzaa's played seven games. McConnell's played three, came on for three games. Dan's made his, only made his debut in the last game a couple of days ago. Bobby Clark's repped us three, four times. This is a madness. None of these brothers had played football for us. Yet they're rocking up to World Cup winner Enzo. One of the players of the season, Caicedo. Gallagher sought after many of your clubs. I think man, uh, Ch Ch uh, Spurs Tottenham. linked with him. <clears throat> Renowned back four. And Kunku coming off the bench, I thought it was going to be a problem. I thought and Kunku coming off the bench, shit. Mudrik is awesome. shit, but he's fast. I thought pace, he might do something. We're leaving space after space. Mudrik is, guys, have you ever seen anything like Mudrik? So, so you've, not, you've seen him in person. You've seen him in person now. It's mad, isn't it? Like genuinely, it's actually mad. I actually thought. Mudrik and Nkunku coming on, I thought, shit, this could be problematic because Nkunku is a bad boy player. Mudrik is ridiculously, ridiculously shit, man. I think he needs to take get like, does he need a visa? Yeah, take awesome. away his visa, man. Awesome. Get him on that, man. Get him He's garbage. Awesome, Someone complain. Someone complain, man. Someone put in the like, man. Do you know what it is? Like, I, I don't want to pile on because he hasn't he hasn't played much games recently, and Sterling actually started that game and like he dropped a stinker, right? And he he's actually got weight on it like he's got weight on his shoulders and expectation bro but yeah mudrick is not worth lost cause uh, not lost even cause. worth not even worth bro, a third of what we've your paid. subs worsened you when you mm. brought on 80 million 50 million 60 million pound players it worsened you whereas our free academy youths strengthened us make that make sense where did that come from it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense Mudrik, I don't even know what he needs now. He needs Jesus. He needs intense coaching. He needs, bro, he needs to get off Snapchat or TikTok or whatever it is that he bangs out. And, bro, he needs to start shooting. <laughs> he wants to play with his Chelsea fans. 
He wants to play with a Chelsea fan. Yeah. Football. But me called the Chelsea fan. Long, on he's a long way off. He's a long way off. I'd love bro. to see him and Anthony on 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 either yeah. flank in the same team. Bro, look, 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 how, look how rattled it, Broski. When I speak okay. about someone, just relax, man. Bro, like, I'm just saying as a passing <laughs> comment, bro. Like, why are you so rattled? Would you explain, would you explain Anthony though? <laughs> bro, bro, come well, on. I, I'm not gonna defend Again, him. Bro, defend bro, him. Bro, we know. Probably not. Sometimes it'll be shit. Even I'm not doing it. Again, what's your what's your quote? Forget. Sure. 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 Two swords, one. If shit is shit, shit is shit. Yeah, there you go. That's not common, bro. Yeah, they both stink. That when you deep in 90, 90 million on Anthony. What was it? Um, on Mudrick, Mudrick, million Nine. on Mudrick plus add-ons. No, but he won't. He no, won't do on. the add-ons. Don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that initial. Don't, give no, us no, the full. No, 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 no. I'm gonna give you initial because the add-ons is Premier League winning and Champions League. He's not winning the Premier League and the Champions League here, so he's not. Six million. No, six million. What's the, what's the total million. package? Who, who what's does the total this? package? Who does this? It's 62 what million. What is the total There's package? Why are, you, why, why are you not saying the total Bro. package? I don't get it. 89 million why pounds. Why do I need to? Okay, not, 89 million, million pounds. Million. That's not going down. Not gonna, oh, my God. The fee's not going to come out of our account. It's not 88. <laughs> Bro, that is why, not why are you asking me? 88 million quid for Mudrid. We haven't paid 88 million quid. What part of that Mental. don't you understand? You paid 62. Mental. Get Mental. your fa- I don't you care do, what you, you pay. Listen, brother, I deal in all in, brother. I don't deal with initial. I deal all in. If you give me the cost, brother, if this is how, if, if this how you deal with finances, brother, then we got a problem, bro. Yeah, it's sixty-two. Yeah, million we have got a problem. I'm, I'm looking after the finances for big six. So we can't have this, you know. This brother's deaf, you know. He can't. You know what? You're, 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 I'm not deaf. I know exactly what you mean. Obviously, it's add-ons that are based that they're, they're conditional. If he doesn't hit certain sporting criteria, you don't pay those yes. add-ons. However, I'm going off the price that was agreed, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going off the total package that was agreed. I like dealing with all in. I'm all money in. I don't like doing this. Oh, you only cost 30 all million. Money in. I'm all there money in. They're prepared to pay that. By them agreeing that, Tom. By them agreeing that, because they're red or black. Yeah. So, so, so much for the guy. You know what I'm saying? That's they're touch. prepared to pay that figure for Woodrick. <laughs> yeah. Matisse, how many, year, how many years is the contract with the Champions League? Well, thank you. How many years is it? Nine years? Eight years? Nine years, yeah. man. Death row contracts. I don't, know, I, don't, I don't know and I don't care. We move. And when I dare to stay, man. nobody's right, going to buy him as well. We're coming month. up to before, one before hour. Go, Turkish, yeah, yeah. I just want to quickly mention Endo, man. My boy Endo. I want to give him some flowers, man, because he ran the show. <laughs> and you know what? You know what's mad, yeah? This yeah. brother's energy <laughs> yeah. is actually yeah. crazy. His energy <laughs> levels is absolutely mad. So, Endo, <laughs> listen, I always believed in you. Set the start of the season, give him opportunities. Why don't you give him an opportunity, man? He might do something. And the rest is history. No, it's, yeah. not even, it's not even a joke, bro. Even Endo, yeah, he was like, had to play like a captain leader. Him and Virgil were the most senior players there. And this guy's been there, what, a month, two months? you know three months whatever start of the season he's not played much i mean what, he's only started playing in the last it's couple of months since, because of injuries huh? it's been since the summer though isn't it no but what i'm saying he's been playing since the last couple of months that's what i said like mm. since the injuries <laughs> but this is finished no, tonight man captain of japan though he's, he's, he's a leader bro i'm just ha- very happy that everyone saeed's cust has come through and i want him to carry man, on I doing it, I, man i, I want to clip man i i seen the clips i was there brother how are you telling me to watch the clips bro. when i was fucking here <laughs> i you telling me to watch the clips when i was here <laughs> watch the fucking <laughs> clips i was live and exclusive in your face <laughs> no what i said was I said, your midfield looks a bit imbalanced. I said, what have you really bought? I said, why don't you just give Endo a chance? Right, so, a so, uh, so check this out. So, uh, 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 whatever you actually bought, our midfield looks balanced, yet here we are. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's you my didn't, point. You weren't playing Endo. We you didn't play Endo at the start. But, you know, but you know what, though? Do you know what? To come, in, to come to Liverpool's defence on this Endo thing, it's very... Yeah, like it's very usual. Like this is a running thing that Klopp usually takes his time to embed a player. He doesn't just dash them straight in the system. He doesn't just throw them straight in and say you're going to start every game. He does tend yeah, to ease them in. So that's that's what he's done with Endo. And to be honest, yeah, it's worked. You it's can't worked. say it hasn't worked, worked because he's well. brilliantly. You can't you can't just yep. you can't just say oh if you just dash him in straight away in a new league at a pace that he's just going to perform like this from the get go because it's just not probably not the case. He's nah, seen he's, the play on a day to day basis. Look, look I'm, and not he's, gonna, I'm not going to I'm not going to sit here and say I thought he's the answer to our problems and issues. Mm. But we know football is a humbler and it shows you just to be mm. patient and trust 
certain people and mm. I trust Klopp because Klopp there's a uh, check out my Twitter when you get a chance Klopp in his interview when he first meets uh, Endo talks about he says brother I'm paraphrasing he doesn't say brother he says brother get fit get ready we need you we need your lungs your heart your desire your footballing brain and he said that at the start and Endo's just nodding away like you're not agent Endo and saying yeah man man on a mission and check him out now did you see the way he was bullying Caicedo and Enzo and Gallagher? One man wrecking machine. Shout out McAllister who called, who who got again got stood on. This brother, he's a thug, you know, Caicedo. I don't know what Bro. highlights were saying, but he was going around stamping on people's Bro. feet and shit. Oh, he's ultra, ultra clumsy and that low, low and uh, low, so late in challenges. Every challenge he kept leaving it on players, bro. He was winding me up, chronic. Him and Gallagher were leaving it on players every single time. Bro, they got what they deserve, man. Some of their faces, oh, it was poultry in motion, man. Chelsea, man. Yeah, you know what we say. F U C K Chelsea, man. Fuck Chelsea, man. Every time. Fuck Chelsea. We've just passed an hour and we've just passed 9k watching live. First things first, hit the like button, people. Let's get the likes up to 3k if we can. We should be able to. That's a further view. Just scroll down, hit the like button. I think you can hit the like button in the live chat as well. But I don't know. I'm not sure about that, actually. So just scroll down, hit the like button. Uh, make sure you subscribe to people. 53 super chats. Not all of them are on um, Chelsea, Liverpool. So I'm going to save the other ones that are not for later on. But what I'm going to say is no more super chats on Liverpool, Chelsea, because there's still a fair few to get in. Um, and I can't promise you that we're going to get them in. Big up Conspiracy KRE saying, Ingle Thorpe and Klopp told the kids no phones during training, 50k max wage caps per annum. Players' Liverpool. cars must not exceed an engine size of 1.4 litres. Liverpool are now enjoying the fruits of a humbled youth setup. Humble settings, you know, people. That's not a joke. That's not made up. They're not allowed their mobile phones. They're not allowed flashy cars, 50k and wage, you know, restrictions. Until, until like, unlike certain clubs, I don't even want to mention, like, you know what I mean? Top right over there, like, out of control players, you know what I mean? And egos all over the place. We ain't that. We ain't that. And the flu fruits are coming through now, people. You see them, brothers. They were humble kids. Humble kids. Nice kids. Worked hard. And, they ha and that's how we roll. We don't give wages just like that. You have to earn your wages as you go along. And boy, did they earn them. Boy, did they earn them. Yusuf says, Chelsea have signed so many flops. We never even talk about 65 million Kukurea, 65 million Lavia, 80 million for Fana. There's no coming back from this. Chelsea are truly finito. Such a long list. Alex says, Chelsea full of TikTok influencer ballers. Care more about drip photos on Instagram than winning on the pitch. Bunch of scrubs. I'm smoking a Matisse pack tonight. Big up. Big up Roms, man. Hope you're good, my bro. Um, he says, Anfield South was rocking yesterday. Alongside Klopp's faith, our fans gave our kids even more confidence. Imagine being us. Shout out the community, man, and the panel. Come on, my bro. Hope Big up Roms, who we linked up. We, I linked up Roms, man, before the games with a good chat. Big up Roms. Come on, good guy. Good to see you doing his thing as well. Um on youtube and whatnot um robert robert actually robert i know you've got a few there so i'm gonna get yours in all at once rather than scroll through them one by one total says big up to the panel and especially grizz imagine getting slapped up by the cast of the in-betweeners and high school musical saeed what are you saying about endo and mac bums yeah well he's addressed he's addressed both of them now over the last week yeah. but yeah he's made um, that he was motivating them Oh. Although I didn't say bombs, by the way, but yeah. <laughs> Just vibing. So Chelsea's three worst players were their three most experienced. Gallagher was shocking. Sterling was non-existent. And do not get me started on Burberry. Ben. Shocking. All three. Almost spit the vino when man started tossing flowers. Salute, Grizz. Salute the big six. Come on, my broski. Alex says, speak on pool fans, putting the Chelsea fans to shame in the stadium. Anfield South is real. Big Steve said, we gave tickets back on Mank Talk. Well, I think they've, you know, well, not Dave, but Grizz and a, and a couple of us already have spoken um, highly about the Liverpool fans and the noise. And it's not the first time, won't be the last time, you know, in the big six, Liverpool are most known um, in that department for their fans and their support and the atmosphere at Anfield and so on. Um, so it's no surprise. Let me see. Lamin says, first a brother in Paris and now Uncle Grizz getting abused. Just sent an email to the ICJ and Hog. Matisse, everything will not be all right. I promise. 
well, listen, I should have read that super chat out before I um, read it, but I read it now. But what I will say is, some subjects let's not let's not joke about it because obviously um, Grizz mentioned it. He didn't tell us beforehand. It must have affected him, and you know we know how sensitive this subject is. Not saying don't say it because you know we, we you need to highlight it, but making you know making light of that sort of thing is yeah, that's just towing the line a bit. Blue Moon says, well done to the Scousers. I hope you only win one more trophy if you must. Europa, but Chelsea and United are finished. The big six needs a relegation promotion. Never. That's the thing. That's why I say we are the big six now. Me, Hughes, Saeed, Chris, Tobes, Matisse. Yeah. This is the Super League of YouTube. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we can't we can't change it up. Even, we even have, Chelsea we don't have promotion, relegation, rotation. It's, this is it. That's unfortunate for you, but this is how we roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we won't we won't we won't say there's not going to be a mid six though because i'm telling you that is that's that's in the waiting one day you will get a mid six um but he won't believe in the big six chelsea singing about gerard slipping for 10 years should liverpool stoop and make a song about yesterday no, no. sophia says i hate liverpool but lord have mercy uncle grizz is a gem never change come on um, Enzo is certified garbage. Plays football like his legs are gone, and he's twenty-one. <laughs> Her brother, what's that? that? Means, uh, brother. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what's that? Says, Six L's at Wembley in a row. Chelsea are billion-pound bottle jobs. Have some shame, Matisse. Enzo, mate, unlucky lad. Lucky indeed. Rishab says you do realize that five of those six final losses came in the Roman era. We were declining towards the end. First cup loss under the new ownership, but we still will still win the FA Cup. Nah. Yeah, that's, that's just, he just mm -hmm. randomly said that you won't see him again for the rest of the season. Um, Mustafa says Grizz said this will happen to Chelsea. Now let's see Bowley get rid of these players. Also, Poch been stinky since Dembele left Spurs. I also said it's going to get even worse for Chelsea, and I believe it's going to get worse for Chelsea. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Nah, you said that there's talent in that team and it will click eventually. That's what you said. No, 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 no. I'm talking about behind the scenes. There's talent in that team, bro. I, mm. I still rate Caicedo. I think you're so dysfunctional. I swear to you, and Liverpool fans can cuss me and come for me. I'm telling you now, I would still take Caicedo. I know he would do a job in my team and how Jurgen Klopp would make him operate and work. Just not at that price, which you guys forced. No, us no, no, to yeah, 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 yeah. That, that was a madness. That Fuck's sake, man. Mm -hmm. Um, Istanbul Barca comeback. This is right up there in our illustrious history because of the way it happened. Seven starters out, and Klopp sends the kids on to seal it. Only Liverpool writes these stories. Does that anger you, Saeed, that this Carabao Cup has been treated with more importance than your one? Um, listen. Obviously, do it for Klopp is there, and it's could be part of a quadruple and yeah. stuff like that. So, it's, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gareth says, Poch is like Ten Hag, coached one team to play good football for one, two seasons years ago and fell off a cliff after. And and neither, and neither, big up. Crazy that Klopp played six matches against Madrid, losing all four Champions League knockout stage and two final matches, lost against Atletico as well. Pochettino should be sacked for losing this final. Criminal. Look, look how he's talking about losing two finals to the greatest club ever. How is he comparing that to Pochettino and Klopp? Are you Real Madrid? Like, like how is he comparing losing to Real Madrid? This is madness, this super chat. $10, you know, one penny <laughs> short or one cent short. Get out of here. <laughs> Tony says, is Chelsea a terrible squad with idiots in charge? No, it must be too cool, Potter Pochettino forgetting how to coach. It's a, it's a mid squad with idiots in charge. Not terrible. It's a mid squad with idiots in charge. Vegan so. sports bar Matisse, would you take Mourinho back now with the budget Chelsea have? What budget? We spent it. <clears throat> no. <laughs> there you go. Adju says, as a City fan, we always got stick for spending billions over six years and getting sixteen trophies. Chelsea stand along with United, quote, graveyard of talents. Greasy Don says, players were a nervous wreck. However, Poch is expired modern day. This arm round player shit don't work without basic in-game management and tactics. 
Uh, let me save that one. That's a United. Another one from Robert. I'll save that again. Another one for United. B. Weiss. One nervous wreck. This is what I'm saying. This comes from the manager. Everything comes from the coach. But there was experienced players in that team as well. Like yeah. Saeed's trying to say that you can't just lambast Pochettino, guys. There's experience in that That's team, what I'm saying. Guys. Squad building. That's why directors have to take there some was responsibility. Good, there was experienced players in that team as well. Mm, um, Bwise says, Wrong "Do not think, it. do not think Klopp bringing on kids was not on purpose. He wanted to embarrass the whole Chelsea model of spending billions. He pro Klopp provided a masterclass on how you build a team from the ground up." Um, David says, so "That's that's the difference. Their youngsters are looking to the likes of Van Dijk to lead. Ours are looking to fucking Chile. <laughs> the balance in terms of experience is crazy. Plus, don't get me started on the misses." Oh no, on the misses in front of goal. It's thinking, yeah, something else. Imagine Chile um, being your leader and captain and the player that you look up to and the character and the it's ridiculous. Absolutely absolute ridiculous. Dickhead. Honestly, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Ahmed says oil Matisse, hold that. Oi, oil? Either works. Inject those Chelsea tears into my veins. Klopp brought on Utes who probably just received their NI numbers. As Saeed would say, quote, when you must, you didn't must. I don't like how you took expressions as joke from his podcast and put it in a super chat and claimed it as your, as your own, Ahmed. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. <laughs> one, was that the jealous. national insurance one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> still, still jealous. Thinks he's slick. <laughs> Yo, Matt Eyes, tell us again about how many points you want you want from the next five games. No, them Chelsea. days are gone. Them days are gone, man. I'm speaking bro. on behalf of Matisse. Don't ask him about that kind of shit. His brother's talking about five games, bro. I do day to day, <laughs> bro. <Talk> about... <laughs> Chelsea went from having to must to a musty pile of shit real quick. Haven't laughed as much during a footy game in a while. Pride of London, my ass. Where are we? Second talk. Oh, yeah. DJ says, here we go with manager second talk. Some of you really think it's managers that's out there. Some of you really thinking it's manager that's out there can't pass, can't finish, can't stay on side. YouTube punditry is all about manager second. Get new material. Anyone hurt by that? Nope, don't care. No, no, no one care. Okay, let's keep it moving. <laughs> Sorry, DJ. <laughs> Sorry, DJ. It didn't land. Yeah. Keep it flying, my bro. Keep it flying up there. Not we don't care. It's not because yeah. yeah. I've just had enough. I've just had enough. I'm sorry. I've had enough. I didn't I wanna, care. So I want to move, 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 move on to Man United. I don't know. I want to move on to Man United. I think Saeed is getting away with absolute murder. <laughs> his brother's got up from his seat. He's probably going to. I don't know what he's going to do. Go and get his flag and do that little dance he did a couple of years ago. Bro, he, he needs to sit down in that chair and take some cooking, man. This is ridiculous. Where's that brother gone? Come back. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere, brother. Where are you going? <laughs> you know, you know, I got AirPods. I can hear you. You know, you think I can't hear you, bro? Good. Come back then. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got AirPods. I just want to get a little Vimto, man. You know what I'm saying? No refreshment break. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> No caramel, no caramel energy drink. No, he's ready. No, nah, but that's a dead drink. I can't believe you're still drinking it, bro. Relax. No, 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 mango. He pretend like he likes it. He knows no, 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 no. The mango one is decent. Mango okay. burst. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Michael says, There goes your only realistic chance of a trophy this season. You better hope Kai and his quote, Merry Men, win nothing because if we do, you are finished. <laughs> so it's totally the streets dry your eyes. Two pack changes. Anthony Hamilton featuring J the Y. Mary J Blige. No more drama. Just some songs to further your pain. Not a bad list. Not a bad list. Um, HW says bottom left and bottom middle. Defend their useless manager for years, and he bottled another cup. When will they accept Poch as a serial loser? One of the biggest losers we've seen in the Prem era. That's on Saka. The time had, West Coast Cup says the time has come. We need a mid six from Matisse and Saeed. It's not a joke anymore. Probably, Bro, probably man, come on, man. Right a, is... um, oh, we're going to talk. We're going to talk. Um, quick shout out to all the unsung heroes doing the timestamps. The pinpoint accuracy to every Chelsea tier made it easy on this icy pollen. Thank you. 
big up Frankie and more more importantly big up just me who does the timestamps at the end of every show week in week out now for the last maybe year and a half um so big up just me out of nowhere started doing it and yeah big up man appreciate that because a lot of the people appreciate that um give me Jorginho over and Zogbia Fernandez any day uncomfortable conversations <laughs> mm, I saw a few tweets flying about still Big up Klopp and Liverpool, the only big six side I respect except for this season because they are a rival, but they thousand percent deserve that win with the amount of injuries they had. Matisse, hold. Big up, man. JC's normally a hater, man. Big up. Coming up to the final for you now. Perry says, big up, Grizz. What a win for us. 16 M's, Endo and two Academy graduates dominated Chelsea's 250M midfield. 68 trophies, now the most successful club. Oh, yeah, by the way, we're clear now. You know, there's always arguments about is this involved, is this involved. We're clear now of United, so no even arguments in terms of the trophy count as well. So hold that as well, say, by the way. <laughs> Tony says, welfare check. Matisse, are you okay? Speak to someone if you're struggling. Maybe not Tobes. Definitely not Tobes. Mike says, Arsenal have Odegaard and Rice. Chelsea have overrated and overpriced. That Matisse Endo tweet at the beginning of the season has aged so mm. beautifully. Mm. Mm. That has, tweet. <laughs> Speak Have you deleted it? No. <laughs> he stands on business. We stand right on business. Down. Yes, we stand on business. <laughs> right <there. laughs> Shit business, good business. Stand on it, my bro. Yeah. Stand on any <laughs> business. Not all good businesses is the best business. Business is business. Business is business. Business is business. Anime says, speak on the best centre back and captain on the planet, Van Dyke. Him and Ibu, let's see. Yeah, yeah. What kind of name is this? Um, yeah. We officially own Chelsea, by the way. I don't, yeah, yeah, that name's a bit shit. If I'm Not actually. Matisse, but I've seen certain Chelsea content creators chat a whole heap of shit all week, man, about this and about that. This and about that. Man. Well, confidence. Can, Surely not. Hold that, man, you fucking idiots. All of you. Surely nobody was overconfident coming into oh, this game. Blood fire, man. Because I thought Nunes and Salah were arrogance. Play. I call it arrogance because why really? are you fucking confident about anything? Look really? at the state of your club is shit. Your That's manager's true. shit. Your players are shit. Your signings have been shit. Your academy's shit. Your transfer structure's shit. Your stadium shit. Your fans are shit. Yet they were giving so much arrogant chat about <laughs> Liverpool and oh, is doing all that. As I said, not Matisse. So you, they know who they are. Hold. Damn. Damn. Really? Wow. Sad Smoke, hey. smoke them out of their boots. Hell <laughs> hey. no. They're Damn. sitting there all like, oh, wait, 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 wait. fuck off. Damn. Um, Sad so says, are you feeling the wrath of proper Chels? Um, Memphis says, one year later, oh. Carol Bow Cup is no, more a tin, is no more a tin pot energy drink irrelevant cup because Klopp won it. Not Grizz, <laughs> but others are speaking a lot. I think I'm the only one. I, I, I don't. I don't think you're talking about me because I haven't bigged up the Carabao Cup today. But I think I'm the only one that really doesn't give a shit about it and has really spoken about it like it's nothing. If I'm honest, uh, so <laughs> I, I don't know if you're talking about me, but um, yeah. Anyway, imagine, we imagine, the, uh, imagine they win the Carabao Cup on his farewell. That's that's mad. But other managers won other trophies on their farewell. But it's crazy. <laughs> Joey says the big guy. <laughs> <laughs> <That's a sign>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, move on to the super chat. Other managers, other managers stayed. Other you managers stayed there twenty yeah. years and were, were, were taken out in a wheelchair and left their team in a wheelchair as well. <laughs> yeah? and the teams and the teams and the teams being brock and the teams being brock ever since. My team's manager is leading us out on a high. With a yo. whole heap of quality. Yo, so who's the selfish one? Bro. Who's the great yo, one? Make, Put the weapons make, down. Don't make, uh, don't mm. make uh, claims about people's disability, man. He was walking out strong, strong man. You know what I'm saying? Bro, he left your team in the <laughs> gutter and, the and yo, shit. And you me. ain't recovered since. And Put even the and then he even down. sabotaged your club and bro, said, that, Yeah, that, David Moyes, he's the man. Back he got rattled, he got rattled. He rattled now. Just finish. I reply and I'm stand down. Stand down. Stand down. Stand down. I have to be passive. I have to be passive. 
You make a wise, you make you make a wise, you make a wise comment, and that I have to take that shit when I'm on smoke. Bro, Yo. your club hasn't recovered yeah. since that he walked out. Do you know that? Do you know that meme where they just lower the gun? <laughs> just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, he's alright. He's digging his own grave because he knows his section's next. He's riled me now. Um, <laughs> he knows okay. now. Yeah. Bad Joey timing. Said... <laughs> Joey said, um, "Chelsea are the side chick now, and it's time for Robert, who's got three super chats in. I'm going to get them in back to back." Oh, yeah. Robert. Our mm. blem is only one. Our manager is too weak. He, well, our problem is only one. Our manager is too weak. He plays more not to lose than to win. Our players are young and elite, but have no inspiration in the dugout. Elite, elite. Look, look elite. at the arrogance. See what I mean? Elite, elite. I don't. Robert's, Robert's elite. probably. I'm not sure Robert's if Robert's a content wow. creator. I think elite. Right? Sorry, can I take this? Elite yeah, yeah, players, yeah, yeah, yeah. elite youngsters, I mean? elite players bag their chances, brother. They take their opportunities in a cup final. That's what elite players do. Because elite young players, that means they have an elite mentality. That means they don't drop the bag and fumble the ball under pressure and and get stage fright. That's what we when we mention elite youngsters, we're talking about Mbappe. Please, that word there immediately. You must remove it. You must. You can talk about potential all you want, but on the on on the biggest stage, elite youngsters will will deliver. We saw Mbappe knocking a hat trick at the World Cup, so I don't know what elite is if 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 we're if we're using this word so willy nilly. We we must he be careful. We must put in a super chat, but Robert, tell us three there. elite players that you're talking about. Elite must, Name there. one, actually. Name one. He hasn't stopped there, and maybe this oh. might interest you, Grizz. He also says Robert. V so Van Dijk has allowed a couple bad seasons in his prime. Like last season with his price tag, but Kaiseido and Enzo aren't at 22. Let's be real. My brother, he had, <laughs> he had an ACL. Yeah. A bit disingenuous. Yeah. Very disingenuous. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> hold your horses. This clock overhype. Two major trophies in nine years, zero in the last four. One only one of five European finals, one versus Poch, ironically. Please tell me why he's elite with how little he's, he's won, won nine trophies in eight Same years. Sit down, Robert. You're wasting your money, man. Use it for something better. I don't know. I don't want to be disingenuous like you, but stop talking shit. Now you're just talking shit. You're going to get me <laughs> telling to terminate. I, mean, <laughs> and I will terminate you. <laughs> Not talking That's sense. Seven, Major yeah. trophies, you know. It does Big piss me off moment. that we've created like half of Klopp's legacy just as us, uh, in, uh, literally in finals, all four of them. That's why you get fans like that who are literally just chat shit. Nine trophies, man. You you wish you was us. You absolutely wish you was us, Robert Mugabe. <laughs> uh, that's all the Chelsea ones in. Listen, people, I've got every single Chelsea super chat that was there in. Um, that's a good 40 there and we're at one hour, 22 minutes. Hopefully you've hit the like button. There's 9.3K in the building. Big, big numbers. Um, whilst you're all here, actually, before we do move on to the next topic, two quick, qu well, one question, two states. Do we have any fans from Los Angeles in the building? If we do, leave us a comment after in the comment section below. And do we have any fans from Philadelphia in the building? If we do, leave us a comment in the comment section below. I just want to garner the in, um, the interest from those two states. Reason being, because Arsenal are playing United um, towards the end of July in LA, and Arsenal are playing Liverpool again end of July in Philadelphia. So, you know, two states marked as a potential destination. But we also want to know, you know, whether the big six look. One of our mods are in the in, in LA. Who's that? DNYG. Say no more. Say no more. All right, cool. Put, put it in the comment section after, though, because I'm not going to be able to keep up with the live chat. LA, Philly, just let us know, you know, if you're there. Um, and hopefully we can get something done in the summer. But your road is still there, too, as a potential. Um, but we'll <laughs> see. Hit the like button and we'll keep it moving. No predictions. Back to the results. Game week 26 and the biggest, most surprising one of the lot. My friend, you know, you've had a, you've had a good run, man. You've had a good run. I'm saying it. I'm saying. What can you say? I hope you say something. It ain't easy. It ain't easy, guys, is it? It ain't easy. Um, <laughs> I can feel the energy right now. I know a lot of people want to talk, but listen, man, this has been coming, isn't it? Like, I've said that the football wasn't great. You know what I mean? I think teams have been having multiple, multiple shots against us, playing better football than us. And I just knew that the football weren't sustainable. 
And lo and behold, Fulham get their first away win since 2009. You know, another record broken by the manager. Um, they were singing songs like, how shit must you be? We're winning away. You know, they were they were taking a piss out of us, man. You know what I mean? Certain players were moving mad, you know? And it's just not good enough, man. And Fulham deserve, deserve. I'm not going to come here and make excuses. One thing I'm not going to do on here is I want to have accountability, you know? That's one thing I pride myself on this channel is I face <clears throat> everything. I face everything up and I say, right, accountability. And, you know, we didn't deserve anything. We were probably dominated for large parts of the game. They went to a back five, I think, at the end, and they nearly crumbled it. Leno gifted us a goal. And then um, it will be scored the winner. And uh, he had a good game. Very, very good game. Um, and he's a good player, isn't it, guys? Do you agree with that? Wolves a good player, no, isn't it? I don't agree. You, yeah. Is that the latest version or the... No, I do not agree with it. That's the original tweet, but you guys just love editing things, man. I don't know why you guys... We <laughs> edited like, it. That, wasn't, cool that wasn't the original tweet. You, know? you said, thank God. Thank, thank God it's Iwobi or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Thank God Iwobi's on the other yeah. side. Do you know he's no, got yeah. a knack? But like, I think, I think you're a genius person. <laughs> Like no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. no, 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 you're I'm, a I'm humble, genius. man. I'm humble. I, I think you're an absolute genius. Like you've got the best trait of saying things, and the timing is impeccable. Like, how many times do you say shit that no one expects to happen? Yeah, it fucking happens. It's the kiss it's of death, amazing. man. It's the Said kiss of death. It's so unreal. I've got every reason like to no say what other. I said, though. It's like no other. I've got every reason because he could have had a hat trick. And I was so no, pissed off well. yeah, that we were giving chances after chances. And I was like, thank God, man, it won't be on the other side. Because this guy had about three or four yeah, he guilt-edge did. opportunities. He did. So I you... was, I said what I said. I don't take anything back. But he humbler, isn't it? For boss humbler, Chris. You guys, you guys are so open. open. Bottlers, isn't it? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> what? Bottlers, isn't it? <laughs> Is that the top? Is that the top four race over then? Have you bottled the top four? Bro, is that the top what? four over now? This, Again, look at that timing. Are you, are you Only gonna, last week he called Spurs bottlers. He said it, literally he, his exact words were bottlers in it. That's what he said. Yeah, Man but, United had the opportunity. Spurs didn't play this weekend, so Man United had the opportunity to go level on points to Tottenham. Bear in mind, this is the same Man United team who went level on points with us back in December. Mm. There were some United fans waffling back then. And they fell further back. And now you had the chance to go level on points with Spurs, playing Fulham at home, who have one of the worst away records. Bottle is in it. Bottle is in it. No, the thing yeah? is, though, it's a different energy, though, because you came on here, you said to me, Yo, are you making top four? And I said, listen, it's, it might be a chase, but I'm not I'm not confident in my team. So for me, for you to call me bottler and for you to call us bottlers, I just think that's a bit, you know I mean, I don't bit know, what? man. I don't really take. Wait, that wait, 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 wait. Sorry, 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 sorry. What, what, at the same time, bit, what? at the same time, bit, yeah. you play you for at home. Please, you're missing you three starters. Stop. Let me, let me finish. You're missing say. three let starters. You weren't missing listen. half your team. You're missing listen three starters, and you lost to Fulham, bro. Listen to me. Relax yourself. Let me finish what I'm going to say, and then you can come in. What I'm saying to you is that you still are the chasing, but you came up to me. I never came with all that energy. I said, listen, United are here. Mean? It's up to you guys. You to said bottlers, in it? You said that. I never came with energy. You said bottlers, in it? You you said bottlers in it? So I'm said, using your words. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, sorry, no, sorry. no. no. I said, now I have to stop you. Now I have to stop you. Because now you are now you are actually waffling. You're waffling. You interjected. And you said bottlers in it when we were talking about Spurs last week. So now I'm doing the same yeah, thing. How dare you say, oh, no, it's not applicable. How can it not be applicable? You had the opportunity to go level on point of us at home to Fulham with no Palina, with no Jimenez. And you lost. And not only did you lose, like you said in your words, because I watched the first half, not even, I watched the first half, not the second and half. You were outplayed. You were outplayed yeah, for most of the first half. And from what everyone's telling me, you were outplayed for most of the second half as well. Yeah. So what are you saying? Pretty much. It got bland, isn't it? It got, bro, I've Just never seen any transitions. Shit, bro, I've never seen any transitions right in all team. my life. That's it was I'm insane. Saying. We're shit out and I'm right about this team. So nobody Fulham, can tell me anything Fulham about were my team. Running I told you, man. Through them. Get this man gone. I'm sick and tired <laughs> of this guy. 
I've got. <laughs> I don't want to bring him on the screen, but I'm sick and tired of Ten Hag. Sick and tired of ba- bro. I don't go to watch football anymore. I go to watch basketball, man, because that's how we play. It's back and forth, bro. It's honestly the lack of control of this team is beyond like, oh my god. If you watch us, but people say to me, oh yo, man, you're still winning. I get that, yeah, but it's not enjoyable to watch. It's actually not enjoyable to watch. We are so bad, yeah. Midfield non existent. Big up to Jamie Carragher today, yeah. I think he's a good, good the way he explained it was. Crazy man, the amount of spaces that they leave behind. Man, like Pereira, one two ball over the top, boom, they're in there. They could have had a hat trick in the first half. It's ridiculous, man. But yeah, sorry, the, Matisse. The, the thing is, the thing is, I actually think it's come to an end now. I actually think both your managers are gonna depart, they're not gonna be your managers next season for sure. Ten Hag's <clears throat> not gonna be the United manager, and uh, Pochettino ain't gonna be the Chelsea manager. But it's, I think. You know, errors come to an end. You know what I mean? I think the errors have come to an we end. Didn't, we didn't say that. I didn't say it myself. Oh, really. didn't, didn't say that. You know, don't don't, 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 don't rope me like... into that shit. Don't, please don't do that. We're nah, just trying you, to man, build our club, man. man. You're going to batter us, man. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do the derby preview when the time is right. You know what I mean? Thursday, we'll talk. But, like, look, I'm a fan of Ten Hag. I, I like the guy. He's giving me a lot of fun. You know, knock on effect. Are you going to Are you going to beat them? Because you're at oh, home. They're gonna smash the shit out. I'm gonna tell you right now, short and sweet. We're we're gonna we're gonna smash them. Yeah, hundred ten percent. Okay. So, <laughs> Why I'm, you I'm not part of fun, Huey. Don't let don't let them go into you. You know what I mean? If you no, want to, I don't. I'm not, no one's go to me. I'm my own man. I'm standing on my own two feet. We're 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 okay. gonna we're gonna do you on Sunday. Mm. Like bad, oh, in it? Like bad. Please. Like bad. Like bad, bad. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Okay, now you're goading. Now you're goading. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm being honest. I'm being honest. Mm. All right. I'm not being honest. I, with Man United, I, honestly, no, my, I, don't, yeah. I think I think it's been I think it's been quite obvious that you're not you're not able to control games without Kobe Mino, which is mad. You're playing basketball, football. Well, yeah, they don't with him, but at least someone can put their foot on the ball, right? And then they have this basketball back and forth when they don't have any athletic players in midfield. So it's like Rashford up front. I don't know why he's tried that again. Every single time I see Rashford up front, it is a stink fest. And he can't bring others into play. He don't hold up. He doesn't even know how to play as a striker. It's like he's still a teenager. When he goes up there, he has no idea how to play the position. And I, I just don't I just don't understand. I don't, I don't get it. How you can be so open and... You let Pereira and all these guys just run through you time after time after time after time. Ericsson's got no legs. Casemiro is absolutely washed. I know you spent 70 million on this guy, but he's literally just giving you a season and that he's was not it. Washed. He's, he's not washed. He looks he's washed, cooked. bro. He's cooked. He's he looks cooked, cooked bro. If I'm being Stop honest, it, like I, I wanted to give okay. it some he time. He, gen- nice cooked food. he okay. genuinely looks like Fabinho at Liverpool. Like Fabinho at the end of his exactly. Liverpool career. That's how he's moving, bro. Not genuinely cooked, bro. Like he looks cooked, can't keep up with the game, no awareness, just leaving it, like no positional discipline either. It's wild, man, to see what I I, I looked at the shots that you guys have faced, the, the volume, and I said, you know what? Shots yeah, in the last I'm, five I'm, games. I'm, I'm I'm off Anana's back. I'm off Anana for the foreseeable, bro. Because the amount of chances that you man give away. Don't do that, man. Come on, allow it. You know what's <laughs> mad, yeah? You know what's <laughs> mad, yeah? Can I just it's say, not, yeah? Like the thing is, though, we brought like Onana in. <laughs> it's not... No, but the thing is, though, we, we brought in Onana to play out from the back, yeah? But if he looks like the same problems... We should have kept David Ayo because he was facing shots. He was facing shots like that, and he was saving them. And majority of the time, he was kind of, you know, in that aspect, saving us. And, and you know what, like... I feel like with me, with Anana now, it's the same problems. He's not playing out from the back. We're not doing this. And I'm just like, what is the point of bringing a keeper in that's meant to help us progress the ball quicker? It's meant to help us play, like, you know, a bit more high up the pitch. We brought him in to, to build something. And Broski, it's the same old problem. It's the same you old did, problem, bro. Yeah, I, I so said this I don't understand. Saving there's, 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 no there's no point bringing in a, a He is saving shots, but... There's no point, Saeed, man, bringing in a goalkeeper like Onana and telling him to play at the back and do what he's good at when the players in yeah, front yeah. of him aren't capable of, of reciprocating that and playing with him. Oh, if Onana's a ball-playing goalkeeper and he's meant to be good at that, what, you expect yeah. Harry Maguire and these kind of players to be able to do the one touch and take it on the half turn? No, he, he can't do what he's good at. So he's forced to go along. Again, yeah. you, have to look, you have to look at... You just have to look at some of the players they brought in. So we had this whole argument in the summer, last summer, 
And I told you, I said, yeah, Ericsson, fair as a squaddy, okay, cool. But mm. as a CM, nope, not having it. Been saying it. This guy is not a CM. Don't care how many good performances he put in the Man United. He's not a central midfielder. And if you play him in central midfield, you're asking for trouble. Casemiro, we speak on how Casemiro is cooked. Yes, Casemiro absolutely is cooked. He's a spent force right now. But I don't think he's helped by a quite disastrous midfield setup and team defensive structure that Ten Hag deploys. All right. And then you've got Bruno up top. I mean, goodness oh, gracious. Man, please. I Can can't we speak tell you the last Can good we... Bruno, Bruno Fernandes performance I think I've seen. I think maybe Aston Villa at home, the 3 2. I think he was good there. Yeah, yeah, but it's slim pickings. The guy has Bro, been I'm tired, atrocious man. for the majority of the season, just running around, hoofing the ball, trying to play these weird first time volleyed passes, and he just boots it into the stands. Like he's been atrocious, absolutely atrocious. And Flex tried to compare him to guys like yeah, when I tried to tell him Madison's better than this guy before balls kicked to the start of the season, oh, he told man, me no. Flex. And flex, man. It's not just flex. So many Man United fans have this false perception of Bruno. And I don't even no, think Bruno they tried, to, they tried to compare this guy to Kevin De Bruyne not too long ago. It's I won't scary. forget these things. Did I defend him, though? Kevin De Bruyne. This, you know what the problem is with Man United, yeah? When they get a good player or a good young player comes in the scene, they gas them up too soon and put the world yeah. of expectation on these young yeah. players. Like the thing but, with, with this last season, there was Garnacho, boy wonder Alejandro Garnacho. Remember all that shit? Yeah. And, and this season, this season, why is he getting smoked? This this, this season, it's <laughs> why'd you, why'd you, why'd you say fuck me for? Why'd you say fuck me for? Well, yeah, yeah, well, well, because you did, man. You stood man. there at the old trap and you went, Let me tell you about Alejandro Garnacho. Yeah, you told me about he's, him, he's but I'm not saying much about him, man. He scored a great uh, over. We're not we're not doing this, we're not doing this, we're not doing this. What do you think he's doing here? You need to you need to learn. To let these kind of players just develop and grow. You see Liv Grizz and Liverpool and the way he speaks about them capping their salaries and letting them grow and become their own players. City have done it with Phil Foden's and plenty of other players as well. You mm -hmm. lot, you get a sniff of a good young talent. All of a sudden, you've shot them up to stardom. That Kobe Mainu has had the world of expectation on his shoulders since the first time he kicked the ball for the Manchester United first team. And then all of a sudden, when a young player, which they're allowed wait, 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 to do, wait, may wait, not wait, have wait, a great wait. game, it's, oh, this is disappointing. What's we're going to let this, we're going to let him get away with that. Did you just say what? City? Who, who have you brought through outside of Foden? You ain't brought through no players. Bro, oh, Cold Palmer, your star boy. Let me go get a drink, bro. Lewis. Your star boy, mate. That's, that's, that's like me saying Nathan Ake. Because he played for us and then we sold him too. You don't bring through players like that. Don't do that. You're not no, no use. Man, you're not no eight just feel folded, man. Just feel folded. One player. Wait. Don't Rico Lewis, that. Oscar don't... Bob, new contract yesterday. What are you talking Oscar about? Oscar Bob, man? we haven't seen that. You all kill for our academy. You don't use you Oscar Bob. Our... You're all you don't use Oscar you Bob like that. Academy high, bro. Don't you talk about it? 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 Academy high, bro. Academy high. Academy high. Academy high. There's academies out here clocking up serious minutes, yeah? Don't do that, yeah? Not you. Rico Lewis. Not you, bruv. Not you. I'm sorry. We're not having it. Nah. You're guys, let's not, divert. let's not divert from the Man United cooking because we got more players to come. That Maguire guy, by the way, let me tell you this. He got player of the month. When when was it? Like two months ago? And then yes, and like since that. then, he has proceeded to serve up dog shit, bro. Some of the defending that I've seen from this guy, so it's like, how can I describe it? He's so heavy. It's like a heavy-handed drunk man, right? Like he's so <laughs> heavy-footed. <laughs> He's so heavy-footed in the tackle. He's so slow. He turns like a double-decker bus. When, when his job is anything to do with not heading the ball out of your box or box defending, he stinks. And he should have been caught. He should have been sent off against Luton, I believe. I think it was Luton. Um, and then, sorry, not Luton. Nasty, nasty challenge against Fulham. He should have been sent off was a bit, Yeah, it was. I he should have been sent off for that. The guy is awful. Yeah. He's absolutely awful. Sorry. He stinks. He stinks. Dalo, another one. Another one that they gassed up. When I when I speak on Dalo, oh, Tobes, you're hating, you're hating. Another one that they gassed up. This is what why, the problem with Man United. He's, had, he's oh, had a fairly decent season, man. He's had a good I don't season. Care. I good the, the, but that's, but that's, my, that's my point in, it's, that's my point in itself. Season. That's my point in itself. He's had a fairly decent season. 
and it's prompted you and a lot of your fan base not to, me, not to me. pop I don't him up and say, "Oh my god, he's player of the season. Oh, he's been good for Man United." No, he, but you yeah, mean but he's who's, who's put in some good performances. I would agree. Probably Dalot is out. Who's who's but who's Man United's player of the season, Tobes? Who is it? If it's not Dalot, who like who else? Give me some names. That's what I'm saying, man. Give it Maynard or something. Give it Maynard You're not giving it Bro, to Kobe Maynard. McTominay, McTominay scored more scores. McTominay, give it to McTominay. No, you're taking it. Harry Maguire. <laughs> Harry Maguire. <laughs> no, Harry Maguire. Don't, don't gas up Grizz. Don't gas up Grizz. Who? Who, sorry? I said Harry Maguire, the, the one you wanted rid of last summer. He's been good for you. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> like, you know what it is, man? Listen. <laughs> I'm I'm just tired. I just can't wait to the end of the season, innit? I want to know who we're bringing in, man. You know what I mean? It's the summer. It's going to be very, very beautiful. I'm just riding out to the summer. I think you should be more interested in who you're getting rid of. You're bringing in Mason yeah, Mount, brother. Man. You're bringing in Mason Mount, buddy. Mason Mount is chilling in the flipping stand, smiling oh, at all, bro. He's chilling, bro. But apparently, he's still a few weeks away. That brother and Ten Hag is a reason for that as well. Spent 60 odd million on that player, bro. A man could have waited until the end of the season and got him on a free. He wasn't going anywhere. Come on, man. There was little interest elsewhere. He was going to stay at Chelsea, see it out, and then leave for free in the summer. Me, Sir. Who's one of the most sought after midfielders? We don't have a left back. We we, we, we don't have a left back. We got Victor Lindelof playing left back. I swear to you. I don't it's wish crazy. on anybody. I don't wish it on it's anybody. Crazy. The guy cannot turn. He cannot move into space. He's so awkward. He told regular to go bye-bye. He's got Amrabat. He don't play Amrabat. Amrabat. Go, he got Anthony for a minute on his birthday. Anthony, man gave gone. him a minute on his birthday. You know how crazy that is? That's his guy. I wanted to I wanted to speak on this. I wanted to speak on this. How this is this is how you know he signed him for almost 90 million quid. This is how you know Anthony must be so bad that he's willing to play this respawned generic Forson or whatever his name is up up top or wherever it was. He's willing to play some random unregistered player ahead of Anthony. It speaks Bro, volumes. Nah, Why doesn't he use Diallo? Volume, Why doesn't he use Diallo? Bro, Diallo came on. And you, you were. I'm not gonna lie. You, Diallo. you gave us a lot of gas on Diallo. You said, "Yo, Saka, you better watch out." You should be playing Saka. though. Something's right. He should be playing. He should be playing. <laughs> man, listen. You should be playing, bro. <laughs> I'm actually bro. playing. Do you remember that? He was that like, "Yo, was scary, Saka, man. we got something for you next season, bro." <laughs> if you <give> us- <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have to rebrand next summer. Next summer, we're gonna rebrand it. This summer coming up, we're rebranding. We're gonna come back. Yeah, I still believe in my guy. I remember because yeah. his eyebrows were like but this. It's, it's, listen, <laughs> I had a madness next tip. season. <laughs> don't worry, man. Don't worry, man. Se- next season, we're there. We're there. We're there. We're coming back. We're coming back. <laughs> Rebrand a little bit. We have to work, get a new manager in. You know what I'm saying? And then we go. We got to talk. We got to talk. <laughs> but listen. Tell me when he does that one. Tell me when he does that one. <laughs> Listen, we got, we got he, he, he will, he'll, he'll, he'll lick his lips. He'll be like, mm. like one of these ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He bites his <laughs> lip, man. Mm. I allow him. I allow him, man. <laughs> but now, listen, man. He came on and he did more in 10 minutes than the, the whole team did in, in 90 minutes, man. And it's just a shame, man. Hoyle is out for three weeks. I'm fearful of the, the, the game on Sunday. We got a game on Wednesday. Not a good forest. I think we're out of that one. I think not a good yeah. forest will have enough to beat us. I really, really nah, do. Brother. No, brother. No, no, no. Don't, don't talk about injuries. I know you lot, you've had your injuries. You tough, right? No, I'm you saying. Tough, right? I, don't, I, listen, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit, bro. That's listen. all chance. You're <laughs> tough, right? Yeah. <laughs> you still have to win. You still have to you win. Have to win. You have no excuses. I'm not making win excuses. You think I'm making excuses? You think I'm <laughs> like you lot? I don't make excuses. <laughs> I listen, injuries or not, we should be winning games. I don't care, mate. So... I'm just like, just get to the end of the season and then we move. That's all it is. I think me and Chelsea, I think that's the energy right now, Matisse, isn't it? Just wait till the end of the season. Um, yeah, and seasons. Uh, we got, we got, we got, FA, Cup, we got and... FA Cup games midweek. That's that's all we got left. Yeah. FA Cup. That's it. FA Cup. FA Cup yeah. And then that's it, man. Hopefully, yeah, like, hopefully City away. and Liverpool get each other and they knock one of them knock each other out and then you never know. Something, something, might, go, something might go left. Bro, we've got, we, we're <laughs> playing, literally, we're playing every kid we can find. 
uh, against Southampton uh, Wednesday, so we we're not. That's why there's no through. excuses. Liverpool have got a ma- yeah. Liverpool's injury record. Yeah, listen, I always talk about Liverpool, and I always, you know, talk bad about them. Yeah, but Liverpool's injury record. They've got who they got: Nunes, Salah, D- uh, uh, Jota, Trent. So Bosley, their injury record is stacked, bro. So United fans can't really be talking about injuries when their injuries are unbelievably bad. So, yeah, man, do your job, man. Do your job. Well, city away. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Well, that's yeah, obviously not going to happen. Boy, are you going, Tay? I'm yeah, waiting for boy. a ticket. So, I'm, listen, I don't know. It's a 50 50 thing at the minute. I'm not going to lie. I don't, I don't know if I want the embarrassment. Don't lie to you. No, no, no. You, you, must, you should you chill, must, chill do the back. watch along. Bro, just relax. No, 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 you two never meet up at the end of the game. Let's oh, be real. Yeah, we're in October. When they win, he comes. But when obviously when they, they lose, he's obviously missing and that. But yeah, listen, <laughs> it's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, nah, man. I got a flat <laughs> Let's look at the super yeah. chats on United. Um, Brooks says, Ghana is a kid, Hugh. Don't be shameless. You could be his dad. You could be gone as that. Are you serious? <laughs> are you, do you know how young he is? Do you know your age? They don't know how young he is, bro. Frankie says, Is Bruno the worst captain you've ever had? The bad form and all the crying on the pitch as well. Seeing Tobes Triore jog past Maguire was hilarious. Triore. I thought the guy was gone. When did Triore come back? I swear, that I, re- I remember his trans. When they said Triore is coming out, I said, When did you fall inside Triore? I was shocked, man. Bro, <laughs> and he's still it's true, you know. I actually don't remember that brother. I being swear there. down. Whoa, when I, hit on also, I was, I was they sent him for free. They sent him for free. Bruno's um, got to be one of the most unlikable players I've ever seen in my life. Bro, mm, bro. bro. he's horrible. Yeah, he's yeah, horrible. Stand, I mean, I've I've never never like, I'm he's actually a player. Never like him. He's a diving. He's, he's got, a diving. I was going to say, have you seen those clips? And he's got like everyone's got a clip where they well not everyone but a lot of people have got clips where they pretend they're injured and they get up. This guy's got a whole catalog of clips like that where he pretends he's injured, you're rolling around, and then the play yeah, continues yeah. and he just gets up and carries on again. Are you a dickhead? What are you doing? No, That's man, playing shy cheating. Back. Wait, the shy back here, man. That's cheating. Him. You're a cheat when you do that. Like if you're injured, all right, no problem. You're injured, innit? And you didn't get the foul. You roll around, you look around, the place continuing, and you're getting up. What kind of captain? What kind of character? What kind of person are you, man? I, I honestly, I don't care how far my my club fall. I'd never take him on my club. I genuinely mean that. No, and he's always in a referee, just non-stop. He's one of those guys. I seriously want one of the referees to turn around, and say "bomba," smack him in the head, <laughs> and that's it. Get fined. Do whatever you got to do. Punch him in the face. Ch- punch him in the face, and then go and get fined, and you know lose your job because you're shit at refereeing anyway. Whoever the hope one of the shit refs does that. Charles Wolfelin says this match actually oh. broke me. Can't decide if Ten Hag can't coach or the players just stop responding. A big reset needed. Mm. Big How reset. many resets, though? How many resets? Um, William says, I fucking love seeing United in the mud. Ten years and counting. Bruno over KDB. Casemiro over Rodri. Mate, fuck off. The most delusional fan base in the world. Gareth says, good to see Ten Hag was brought in t- to the delusion that comes from the United fan base with those comments in his interview after. Embarrassing. Big up, sir. Or SCR Turkish from LA here. Steve from AFTV's fan cams got my Arsenal United tickets today and got two extra to sell. If anyone is looking, let me know. I'm sure people will be looking. Um, but like I said, leave a comment as well so I can reply and yeah, garner the you know the the, the people supporting the big six over in both states as well. Um a couple more on Poch that I'm gonna keep to the side. I would genuinely take Anders Pereira back over that Bruno right now. He is our captain. Not impressed. Shout out to Saeed. Saw the rant. Keep your name out your mouth. That was gold. <laughs> the way the delivery. Go, <laughs> <laughs> um, What's that about? Another Chelsea one. Nah. Um. There's a few more on Chelsea still, but oh, there we are. More on Chelsea, surely. 
Sado says, hey, Saeed, wallahi, you're coming parade with me and Turks if we win the league at Old Trafford. And Gareth says, shh, Saeed, watch what you say. Skull is watching. <laughs> Since he's been back, Kebab Miro has been taken for walks from Wolves, Kebab Luton Miro, and Fulham. You know. Imagine rating him in 2024. Brother Sid says, Mr. Jerd Muller, Man United have been playing terrible, but McTominay and Hoyland have been scoring and saving seven hogs backside. Which manager should replace him in the summer? Listen, my, my personal favorite, uh, choice is Hansi Flick, but I think it might be Nagelsmann, you know, man. I think they might go for Nagelsmann. You like Nagelsmann? Sorry. I think he's a good coach. I think he had certain... I don't know, man. The Bayern team wasn't the most fluid when I watched him. But listen, he's still got potential, man. He's still young. He can improve. You know what I mean? So, But he wouldn't not work with his team, though. He'd have to... Because they press a lot, man. And our team don't press. So he'd have to get rid of the whole squad. Or most of the squad, at least. Yeah. Emmanuel says, Saeed, if you love United, you'll never, and I repeat, never do a Liverpool watch. Oh, Yeah. That's it, yeah. I've confirmed, guys. No, 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 no. That's it. No, 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 no. I've made this. We don't believe you. Check your check your We don't believe you. We don't believe you. Okay, I'll pay you. I'll pay you. I'll pay you. I'll pay you. I'll you already. Pop me on the full screen. We don't believe you. Pop me on the full screen and I'll confirm it to everyone. No, 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 no. Hey, Chris, lock him into a broadcasting deal. No, no, brother, brother. No more. I'm not doing it. Say television. Lock him into a They've defeated me. They've defeated me. No, no, please. All, no, all, Liverpool, all Liverpool no, live games no. on Sky Television to the end of do the season. Locked bro, in contract. We're clock. linking up. We're linking up soon. Dinner's on me, bro. Please. Do it for Klopp. That's all it is. Do it for Klopp. Do I'm Saeed, done, you, Saeed, I'm you, Saeed, you won't be able to resist. When the big game comes, Liverpool no, versus Man City, you won't be able no. to resist. You'll be there. You'll no, be there. No. Yes, you will be there. Liverpool City, be there. That, that don't, that don't, I'm not bothered about that anyway because both of them I don't like anyway. So, you will yeah, I won't be there, man. You will be there. I won't be there. I'll be I'll be watching you. That's it, and then that's it. No, you'll, <laughs> be there. Watch them for. you'll be ringing the Discord. You'll be there. I'll see you. I'll see that. No, no, no. Done. I'm done. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm defeated. I'm defeated. Um, Peter says breaking news: Liverpool to be stripped of the Carabao Cup after a drug test found traces of Calpol in their players' systems. Chelsea mm. to pay for a replay. <sighs> Josuke keeps it short and sweet. Awobi is a humbler, and Sador about 20 minutes before the show went live, said this is a message to the Mancunian chunks. If we win the league at Shite Trafford on the second to last game of the season, it's Kalas for you. Obviously, he added that we're going to go to the parade if that happens. And yeah, my brother mm. Saeed's welcome. He's welcome. Um, that actually, one more came in. Bin Boy says, it's weird as a Liverpool fan, United's become the team that's just there, existing like a punctured speed bump. Bro, just let us go there and win. And then we can't talk. Not yet. Please, friends. <laughs> we still got to go to Old Trafford. Ah, right, cool. I haven't checked how many likes we're on. Let me quickly check now, people. It's not even refreshed, so I can't really check. But hopefully we're, well, well, we're over 2K. So big up every single one of you. 2.3K likes, 8.9K still in the building. We're going to whiz through the last couple because it's just past midnight here. It's nearly coming up to two hours. Um, and yeah, to be honest with you, well, the last couple, Arsenal, big win, City, and one nil win away to Bournemouth. I'll, I'll touch in on Arsenal first. Um, firstly, Jorginho. I spoke about him, I think, a few weeks ago now, maybe maybe a month or so ago. Um, he steps up whenever, whenever we've needed him. He stepped up aside from that Tottenham game, which is an anomaly over the year and a bit he's had with us now. He's he, he stepped up to the plate and he's not only stepping up and, and doing a job, he's he, he's putting he's putting work in. He's putting work in. Um he's he's offering us something that aside from party, we don't have in the midfield. Um so I gotta big up Jorginho first and foremost, man of the match overall, Havertz as well. Um listen, we've laughed about Havertz. Uh, I, I just don't understand how people will give him sevens and eights for some of the performances I've seen this season. But that Havertz, the one we saw especially in the first half against Newcastle, just to see more of that. I think his first half was an eight out of ten minimum. You know, some of the things he was doing in terms of being a striker, it was close to a nine. He faded in the second half and um, should have buried the, the, the second chance he had. You know, if he leaves that game with two goals and assists and, and that level of performance aside from the goals and assists, great game, great game. And I just want to see more of that from him. Um, 
and long may that continue because at times I feel like he is a passenger but in that game he was he was a focal point like I said behind Jorginho I think the the next and not only because I think Saka again deserves a mention another goal another nice goal like that 13 for the season but Havertz never well for me anyway um never gets credit I'm not going to say never gets credit he deserves I think he deserved it for this one so yeah, Jorginho, man of the match, Havertz, well done. Saka, 13 goals. Purring, really. Goals, goals, what is it? 15 goals in three games, 25 in six. It seems like we're hitting, you know, form at the right time. That Porto one, we're going to need to make up for that in a couple of weeks, but let's just get past um, Sheffield United, Brentford, pick up six points, and then it sets us up nicely for Etihad to come the end of March. Um, and City keep on rolling as well, Hugh. Yeah, the Bournemouth game, it wasn't um it wasn't the easiest on the eye. We we had to work hard for it in the end. It's kind of a tale of two halves, but not really much to report on other than than Phil Foden, once again, still standing up, still playing unbelievably. That's sixteen goals for the season for him. I see a lot of city fans complaining about our lack of goal scoring right now and you know, we're not blowing teams away and we're not convincingly winning and they're kind of panicking and I'm kinda of telling them just just to relax. Like timing is everything. Pep is the master and knowing when to click into gear at the right time. And if people are panicking, like if we're winning games and we're one point off top while playing unconvincingly, what's going to happen when we start playing convincingly? Um, I think just a few little things need to go our way. Like Haaland, when he finds his shooting boots again, no doubt he will. He knows himself. He's missing chances. He should have been scoring. There's one he really, really should have scored against Bournemouth. It was so unlike him to miss it. He kind of tried to curl it around the keeper when he should have just gone low and hard. But I've no doubt one of these days, and I, and you know, inshallah, it's next Sunday. Haaland's going to dunk on someone, like dunk on someone heavily, and the panic's going to be over. So, nah, man, we're doing our thing, man. 15 wins out of the last 17, one point off top, unbeaten since the 6th of December. There's no need to panic with, with Manchester City for the fans that are worried. And, um, yeah, man, looting away tomorrow night in the Cup. Hopefully keep that going and the Cup run. And then all eyes, all eyes on Sunday, man. I can't wait for Sunday. We'll speak on that on Thursday. Hmm. You will. We will. Thursday, 9 p.m. is the next show. I've got five Super Chats saved to the side. I, I'm going to miss a few people, but like I said, we have got to keep it moving and get going. Um, and the five, I will work my way back to front. Sports Genius says, Turkish, why does the media hate Saka so much? Is it because he missed the penalty? Any other English player? I don't I don't get the fear. Uh, first, I'll say I'm not really a... I'm not always on socials or I'm not always on Sky Sports and checking out, you know, the review of these pundits or this headline. So I don't really see any any hate. Maybe he doesn't get the flowers he deserves at times, but I don't see any hate unless you mean that. But yeah, I don't know. Do you, do you, do you man see it? Not, not really. Hate, but he gets like, I think it's because he's always like the reference point for comparison. So like whenever like a player is up and coming, Oh, He's yeah, the yeah. reference point. Do you get what I'm saying? But I don't see people hating on Bukayo Saka. I think that yeah. you just only see that on Twitter. Literally, outside of Twitter, you don't really, I don't really see much hate for, for Saka. Well, I see. Um, so some men are putting Saka's picture next to Garnacho's on thumbnails and doing videos about it. But, mental. Yeah. That's mental. Lucky, lucky that's some no men are saying here. Ahmad Diallo had something for Saka as well, but we didn't see that, did we? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, oh, next one. I don't know, man. I think I think we were making content. I don't think we were kind of um, comparing them, but yeah, <laughs> making content. Uh, <laughs> is that what we call it these days? Is that finished? Now? Is that conversation? It's, 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 it's a Saka's conversation split. discussion. Saka's clear, man. Saka's clear of folding it. What are we talking about, man? Oh, okay, okay. We're putting that one out of the yeah? Okay. That old chest. Oh, <laughs> he's trying to get a top of your winner. Uh, better question: Who's better, Ahmad or, or Ganacho? Ahmad. Oh, I'm you glad you he, has a, he hasn't met Ganacho yet. I'm glad That's you not you know, he <laughs> Natural <laughs> ability. Natural ability. Natural ability, man. Come on, man. What was, what was it? What did we? What was that kind of saying on Twitter? The football ability or something like that? What was it? But yeah, um, pure footballer. That's the one. Pure. Goltonelli says, yeah. "Big up, guys! One question for Turkish: If you had to choose, would you prefer Prime Zidane or Ronaldinho in this current Prime Zidane? Prime Zidane, and not only because yeah, he's my Zidane favorite player at Arsenal, but oh, look at the position we need! Imagine Zidane 
<laughs> Imagine he's... Ronaldinho out on the left instead of Martinelli. Yeah, I know, but, but Zidane, but bro, Zidane is, is Zidane's different, man. Mm, no Ronnie, disrespect to Ronaldinho, but Zidane. Ronnie, Ronaldinho better, but um, okay. I like both. They're both. It, I don't like saying Z, because yeah, it feels see, like I'm just one, Ronaldinho, exactly. but. Zidane but you have to choose one. You can't do that why, if he Why asks do we the have question. to compare? Why do we have to compare? Can, well, okay, why can't we, we just compare it? Both? Okay, why can't forget we just what I said about the comparison. Why, why, why can't we just enjoy both? Let's move on. Cool. Yeah. They're different. They're different. Let's just enjoy one's, both. One central, enjoy both. one's a wide guy. Yeah, yeah let's just different. enjoy both. There's no need for this. Just enjoy both. JC says... Kingdom Kai scores again. Seven goals, two assists in the league on fire. Tov Matisse, hold that. Stay quiet on my donkey. Boy, Turk, we are watching you on your Havertz prop. Put down the problem, please. Well, I've given him... I called him a dog. I didn't, I I didn't, I believe I didn't he... watch the full game, but I heard he played well, so props to him. I'm glad mm. um, I'm glad he's finally, but you should say it, finally you doing say something it. to justify the gas he's been given. So, yeah. That song is catchy, though, man. That song is catchy, though. I can't lie. Do you know it's like, like, uh, uh, it's yeah. You'd hate, you'd hate you for know, Chelsea songs, you know Arsenal songs, you know a lot, yeah. lot of songs these days, man. Opposition you, songs. You'd you'd hate for Arsenal to get to a critical game at the end of the season <laughs> and him to not deliver. You you wouldn't want to see any of that because then I'm sure Arsenal fans would be cussing him, man. I wouldn't want to see. I mean, any he's, of that. he's not he's for my Kai. not he's, for my kingdom, Kai, Kai bro. You look after yeah, my Kai, he's, he's my Kai Kai kingdom over there, bro. Make sure you look after him because it's Arsenal Chelsea got to play yet. Arsenal Chelsea got to play yet. Better not turn against my Kai, bro. Emirates. Don't turn against my Donny. Yeah. That game is gonna be crazy, man. When is that game? Is it April or is it May? Which game? Sorry. April. April. Yeah. Actually, no, no. Wait, it's meant to be no, no. Sorry, it's meant to be March. 16th or 17th, but um, Chelsea are going to beat Leeds and then that's FA Cup weekend, so it'll be re rescheduled for April. No, man. I don't know. We shouldn't, I wanna, I wanna, we wanna... shouldn't underestimate Leeds. They're second in the championship. They're playing some really good football. I think we should respect Yo. Leeds. I don't want to say anything too I much. I fly Leeds. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. Are you, are you at home, home or away? It doesn't matter. Oh. Have you watched Have you watched us this season? It doesn't matter. <laughs> True. Good point. Good point. It doesn't matter. Let's see if Enzo can must... find his level. <laughs> Emmanuel says, "Stick <laughs> up, guys! Great cooking." <laughs> look at that! Look at that response! Oh, that response killed me. The nervous laugh. The nervous you laugh. It again. You did this against Middlesbrough as well, and your fucking tweets. I've had enough of it. <laughs> Martirino <laughs> says, "Arsenal's level of play deserves a trophy. I know we still have to do it, but with the age, it's inevitable." Big up everyone, especially Turkish. And last but not least, big up Tevin. He says, "Arsenal twenty-five and six, United thirty-five all season." Crazy, crazy numbers. Crazy. Are Arsenal. To be honest with you, if you think about it, out of the big three, the top three, Arsenal playing probably the best football right now. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's probably mad. It's, it's definitely, yeah, it's easy, yeah. definitely, definitely, isn't it? Definitely, right now, it's yeah. Mad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's mad. Porto it's aside, right. yeah. Porto yeah, aside, twenty twenty four in clean. We're just working our way through games. So is City. We're just working through our games or our squad. Is our, in our case, Arsenal are flying, man. But still third. I'm gonna make them favourite soon. Leave. Don't slip up. <laughs> You're gonna make I'm them favorite hey. yeah. Yeah, soon. You know what we did last season. <laughs> 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 that will that will be the nail in your coffin over there. <laughs> <laughs> that will be a nail in your coffin. I'm about to start this. You know what's magic? I've, had, you know what's magic? <laughs> I've had to I've had to come on air, yeah, and see Man City win trophy after trophy after trophy. You look down the bottom, yeah. But Toby and Matisse, like, it's finished for you in the summer if Arsenal win that Premier League, you know. Bro, it's finished for you. Know. Do you, do you know what's it's so funny about him? Let me take that one back. Let me take that one back from Toby. So, so, uh, what's Toby. mad is, what's, Matisse, what Matisse. I don't get is. Matisse. Matisse. <laughs> right, okay, cool, you're going to keep you. talking. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm going to take you out of the conversation because you have seen it. But Matisse, if they win that, bro, I don't know what you're going to do, but you need to get some flights fucked out. And yeah, just, I'm going to, yeah. I'm going back to Ireland. I'm going to go and chill in Ireland with Ireland, yeah. Yeah, remember, remember, yeah, Saeed cool. went to Magaluf because because we won a trophy. Yeah, do you remember? <laughs> that was to Kenya. Went to Kenya, man. <laughs> you went to Kenya. And you went Palma. You went Palma as well. <laughs> yeah, I went to Palma. You went as well. to Shagaluf. Yeah, I went. I went to strip in Shagaluf because we couldn't have to leave. You went to Shagaluf. I went to. Is that was that when he was wearing his um, office socks with his shorts on holiday? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what do you mean office sucks, man? <laughs> Talk to me nice, man. 
<laughs> Talk to me nice, lad. Talk to me nice, lad. Uh, say no more. Say no more. All right, listen. Two hours, four minutes, 8.3K here. Hit the like button on the way out, people. Um, but I got better swag than you, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Sky, yeah. I'm talking about swag, though, man. Yeah, <laughs> man. Oh, he's rattled. Don't worry about my swag. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even say I didn't even say you ain't got swag. I just didn't get why you're wearing office socks. No, don't, don't come out on my socks. Don't come my socks <laughs> what I wear, in it. You feel me? I wear what I want to wear. Yeah, the man. thing is, I told this to him as a friend. I said, "Yo, like you're in like thirty degree heat. Why are you wearing these like long office socks?" It wasn't that hot. It wasn't that hot. It wasn't that hot. It was about twenty. Hot, man. Oh, yeah. We have we have to do some yeah, content based. Hot, we have to do some content based around this idea as well, actually. <laughs> Leave us some ideas, man. Oh, dear. What, regarding what? How can a man's socks be taken? This, uh, this, um, um like this. Uh, drip. Oh, oh, uh, content-wise, you mean, yeah? Yeah, content-wise. You know what? Sa- Saeed, Saeed's had some really good fits recently. I see him with his dunks and his bomber jackets. Yeah, man, come on, man. Yeah. Well, you, were, on. you were out in the town last weekend, yeah. weren't you? With Flawless in them, man, weren't you? Bro, we were chilling, man. You know what it was, yeah? <laughs> I was with all the Chelsea boys, man. Them Chelsea boys are mad, you know. Man, I was thinking, Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea in the, in, the, in, the, in the little bar. And I was like, yo, you, man, it's not a football match, you know. But they were crazy, <laughs> man. Big up to Carefree Lewis's guys and that. But it was crazy, man. It was crazy. Oh, yeah, listen, big up um, big up everyone. 8.1k yeah, still here. So hit the like button on the way out. We're going to wrap it up here. Thursday, 9 p.m. next show. Make sure you're there. FA Cup action in between. So we will talk about that and we'll talk about the games coming up as usual, people. Make sure you subscribe. Follow up the um, individual channels and love for the love, people. Make sure you show some love to Manscaped too.